Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom, where uh, in our 100% we are bringing closure to one objective, or rather two. One of them is the wells and one of them is the caves, because there's only two of each. Uh, across the whole map we got most of them, we just need to find these last two of each. Um, there's a couple areas that I have a uh, big hypothesis towards. Um, one being this area because it's very empty and untouched, and also this area because there was a ton of wells, but I didn't use the sensor to find the rest, so I'm assuming that at least one of the wells is in one of these two areas. So it'll be a good starting point. Um, we can get a nice bird's eye view, and I'm excited. So that's the goal, hopefully finding the last two of each, and it's kind of our last, or one of the last big objectives for uh, this 100%. So I'm excited and hope you're all having a good Wednesday. It's nice to have skydive armor. Um, because there's a couple other things just around, like, that's a Hinox and some Koroks. Which, you know what? If that really is a Hinox, it's a spawn into view first. Okay, see a lone tree, that's usually a Korok. That's a Hinox, okay. Well, I like this armor I have on. Bye bye. <laughs> no fall damage. Don't slap me. Minru's got those cannons ready. Just not on me. Flurry. <laughs> I finally figured out that one. You have to do a backflip for some reason. But hey. Oh. <laughs> His big belly blocked the shot. Thanks, Minru. See, as long as you play into the sage's abilities, it can be quite handy. And that was one of them that we needed for the 100% uh, Medal of Honor. Okay. Seems to be a Korok there. Yep, Lone Tree. Again, we're almost three quarters of the way through the Koroks. We have like 700 something. Which all those counts are in the description. I always update them. Uh, yeah, some of them were just like, okay, I wouldn't have went here. Uh, but there were also some that I kind of just like straight up passed because uh, either I didn't recognize a quark pattern or uh, I don't know, it just wasn't the focus. Because this game, especially in the busier areas, there's just so much going on that it's easy to pass things. Which is awesome in one sense. But when I was first playing through the game, I was like, especially going through like Grudo Canyon, uh, the Goron Mine area. My mind was split in five different directions of, oh, this cave, oh, this path, oh, this camp. Like, it, it's crazy, but um, makes missing things easy, um, including just entire stretches. So, even after 300 hours, we're still uh, <laughs> checking out the upheaval versions of these areas. This just seems to be a little... <laughs> Thanks. Surely we need more. Also, this is my first time doing tiers 100%. It is. Because uh, this is the same playthrough that I started from day one. So, the goal is to bring a closure. Because with a, pretty much every Zelda game I played and eventually 100%ed, it was never my first playthrough. I always played it through very thoroughly. Uh, or at least as thorough as possible. But... I never achieved 100% ever on the first go. It was usually like a second or third time. Um, but this one, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to be even more thorough and uh, adventurous my first go. And yeah. So here we are. Okay. Um, I still have my sensors up to well, bottom right. This area I'm a little less certain of, but the swamp, I'm almost certain that there's a well here. I just want to start here because... Yeah, that's so cool. ah, ow! <laughs> Wasn't expecting the quick shot. Okay. Quick die. Let's see if Minero gets him with the cannon. Bad call. <laughs> Fire and parry. You know what? Where's our little pine cones? There we go. I don't even need those parts. That fire did not have as good of an effect as I hoped. 
So this was like a camp in Breath of the Wild. Had some pacoblins. Seems, seems to be a new one right there. And also, I need my buddy Tulin to come back. Love the thumbnail, how to get the picture. Um, you know, just trying to take a picture of well, and then just like another link just popped out of it. And I was like, oh, perfect timing. I don't know why, maybe just a random event, you know? Uh, no, I just put him there, but it's just funny when things stick out. <laughs> <laughs> also, hello, meat. It's like their own table without any chairs. <laughs> Must mean the barrels are packed too. Not at all. So, yeah, this armor is great for jump attacks because you never take that fall damage. Okay, where's my bombs? Yay. Let me go up. Uh oh. No! <laughs> the rain put out the updraft. Sun showers, of all things. You know, we can make this work. Hmm. Oh, and the fire put out the ice. Everything's putting out something else here. We get somewhere else. We can make this work. And then I'm gonna pop out. Oh! <laughs> You can chain it with the jump attack. Okay, tool and do your thing. Or me. <laughs> Fire parry. Okay, looks looted. It's still fun. Just looking at the areas I know not much has changed. And again, I'm still very surprised I haven't seen the last two caves yet. Um, we talked to Kilton everywhere, or Colton, and uh, not even he knows, because some of the caves are outside the bounds of what he can hint at you to help with. I think Satori trees can still help, though, but we just... I must not have went to the right tree yet to uh, see where those are. Yeah, another tears challenger I'm going to record uh, probably at the start of the new year. Right now, there's a Breath of the Wild one that's going to come out soon. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of alternating between challenge run, stats video sort of thing. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I could just climb up to the balloon. Usually, I thought you had to like hit into it with an arrow. I guess the sheer force of my body clinging upwards did numbers. Interesting. And typically the lone tree Koroks are like the big trees, but not that time. So, is there a good way up? I can honestly do more pine cone strats, just because it's like... Is that effective? I don't think so. More effective on hurting me. <laughs> I need, like, good instant elevation for things. Like, I guess another fine method is going like that. Mm, popping out my springs. Um, also, thank you, Sean, for the $5. Uh, do I love dogs or cats more? Well, I've never owned dogs in my life, and I've always owned cats. Well, at least my parents have. I currently don't have any living with me. But, uh, just big cat bias. They're silly little guys, uh, can be very much so troublemakers, but a little bit low ma lower maintenance than dogs, which is nice. But they're both really cute, so it's like, I have a cat bias, but I love them both. So, but yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> there we go, and tr try to chain into a third, which I'm not good at yet. Oh, we did, okay. <laughs> and that is how you get elevation in this game. I've been getting better at chaining them, so. It's not easy, though. I'm just gonna skip that one, because that was good. Usually I only get two. The fact that I got a third one was actually surprising. So, huh. 
Is this like inside? <laughs> My favorite way to get these. Wow. <laughs> Everything could just be a little fancy. have more fun playing Breath of the Wild, this game feels more copy and paste. I mean, it definitely does. Like, even when, back when only Breath of the Wild was a thing and not this, um, I was kind of feeling like there's going to be things where it just feels a tad redundant from the past game. Um, so that's why specifically for this game, I try to play into the new mechanics more. So, for an example, there's still weapons in this game like, you know, like the blizzard rods and like the elemental rods and whatnot. I try not to use that stuff because it's basically identical to what's in Breath of the Wild. So instead, I purposely prioritize like new weapons, new strats, like nothing here is similar to stuff or weapons that I use in Breath of the Wild. The strats I use to get around is very different. So I try not to use horses a lot unless it's like um, stuff with like the tow horse. Um, so it's also how you play it. Like you can play the game to make it feel a lot more like Breath of the Wild, but uh, you know, doing different things helps. But ultimately, I get some things like map areas like this are very similar to the past game. So, you know. Also, thank you, Sean. So 50 50 for the cat dog. I would say 70 30. Like, my bias is still strong towards cats. I think they're cute and silly. But dogs are happy and fun. So, yes, let's say 70 30. So I pinned something there. I'm assuming that's a new one. I didn't go there, but also we would have got a ping. We did. It's likely empty. In Breath of the Wild, this area just had a couple camps, and uh, it had a guardian too. Interestingly. Okay, we'll go back there after a little bit of travel. A light dragon. Did I like wrongly pin a Korok or what? Oh, un oh yeah, this little like busted section. <laughs> really want you to check everything. I I should probably think about the puzzle first. <laughs> yeah, like a key. Wait, how am I doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Uh, I feel better after last week because I know we didn't stream. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys for being patient because, yeah, it's technically been two weeks since the last stream. Or half a month. Uh, but, yeah, it's nice to be able to play again. And, uh, no, I feel pretty good. Last week was pretty good. Uh, working more on my challenge run and also catching up on some media stuff, too. I... I was playing a little bit of the Mario RPG game, which is really fun. Uh, I just got to Geno, so I know who that is now. Um, also watching the new season of Invincible, which is really awesome. Uh, yeah, so just catching up on a few things outside Zelda stuff. Okay, and the ruins is there. I know there's like something there and there and I... Again, I could go a million different ways. If I want to check out the Dueling Peak stuff, I can later. Because right now I just really want to find the wells, so. There's a well. I'm just almost certain that there has to be one here. There's a Stalnox down there. We got him. We didn't get that Talus, though. So. I can fix this. Blue ones. <laughs> They're almost always reds. I don't need to use the three shot one. Oh, now it's badly damaged. Okay. This will be a rough start for him. All right. Get your friends off. Muddle butted. And bye bye. <laughs> Look how high they go. Just nuts. <laughs> It just destroyed them all, too. Great. 
But luckily, yeah, the health is always just abysmally bad. <laughs> Get that bonus damage. Oh! Wait. <laughs> Yay. Well, one good, but my wall sensor. Okay, so there's one here at least. Woohoo. <laughs> well, that's awesome. <laughs> Take the parts for armor upgrades. I always just fuse that to that, because you know what? It works. <laughs> Game of find the Bacabal loot. At least one of them. Yeah, literally, they just all died to the fall damage. So thank you, Sean. If I ever get a dog, uh, get a Border Collie, Blue Healer, a Kelpie Hybrid. I never even heard of that. Um, man, I don't even think I've ever owned a dog, though. They're cool. I more so like when other people have dogs, I'm going to see them. Um, but I know that they're higher maintenance and, uh, well, you know, it is hard with, like, travel and stuff like that. So I don't know if I would ever own a dog, but they are cute. Oh, there's a car up here. I was more so aiming for the, uh, not car up. Also interesting, wasn't there a the same puzzle in Breath of the Wild but going upwards? Like wasn't there a flower at the base of this and you would go up the trunk? So in this game it starts at the top, on top of the trunk, instead of on the bottom of the trunk. At the bottom. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's an inverse Korok puzzle, which is kind of silly. Okay, so. Oh, so that guy's a part that I need. I'm gonna nab it really quick. I need a bunch of parts for the Zone I set. It's you, actually. Goodbye, bow. The apples, Captain Two and Three Horns. Don't worry, we'll come back for the well. Hmm. What type of shield is. Oh, that's almost dead. <laughs> I like that one, too. Exactly why you should have it. Whoa! <laughs> His friend did that. You know, up and down. Silly that way. Maybe I should, should let these guys fight it. You know what? You guys don't like water, right? This cannon's very weak damage-wise. But... The knockback makes it special, which is hard. You know what? Freeze first, then knock back. This time, he can't shield it then. Yeah. It's always convenient when there's water nearby. The shield just makes it a bit inconvenient. Oh, you guys want both in? Okay. That almost just fries him as is. Get a little closer. Alright. Arm slaps for you. <laughs> Rock first. That's yours, not mine. Thanks for the offer. Hmm. See, I do want your parts. Yep. You know I have a billion silver parts. Also, thank you again, Sean, for the five. Uh, yeah. Dog antics. Yes. There we go. Right, also, how will Minoru use a hydrant device? Like a hammer or a hose? It's used like a hydrant. Uh, I originally thought it was a good idea, but the thing is the range is very small. So I can show it really quick. Um, it, it has its... U I don't know. You could use it in a Muktarok fight, honestly. Or, sorry, I, uh, visually illiterate. So like, water. And then I guess if you want to go like, uh, <laughs> that. And shock fruit. <laughs> oh, it just hits me too. Okay, nice. <laughs> so yeah, there's not really many reasons for water. Uh, 
because shock damage does not do a lot in this game like little shock orbs that's fine is Minoru even that good you know what almost everything in this game can be overpowered if you really play into it um if you just want powerful weapons you can get you know something like this uh so it's more so I like playing this game to have different options and Minoru gives you a lot of different options so I like the type of things where I can experiment with them some combos may not be good but uh Minoru is fun when you get like those uh unwanted gloom weapons and talus hearts fuse into Minoru put on the Zonai helm and you're doing a lot of damage so speaking of Zonai helm um yeah next time combat we'll do that with Minoru Yeah, I definitely am surprised that there's a thing over here. Well, well. Okay, so it's this way. Is it just that one right there? Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> it looks to be? It was like half tucked away, so... I only half blame my past self for not finding it. But yeah, I think it may lead to the same system, though. Let's see. Because all wells lead to, like, a big cave system here. Oh, there's a chest, though. So maybe I haven't been here. Thank you. That's the hammer. Boop. I was about to use Minoru for the breakage, but I guess that's not going to work. Is the rain putting it out? I think so. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad timing. And okay, it was just... You know, that's pretty well hidden. I didn't even see that the first time. Because those bomba walls don't save. Or... Yeah. Wait. <laughs> if you break them, they don't, like, reappear later, is what I meant. Okay, so that... Yeah. Well, we found the well, so that's all I counted. Um, so we just need to find one more. I was pretty certain that there was going to be one here, because I just felt like I missed one. I'm still going to check the other side, though, because I feel like there might be one there, too. Maybe, possibly. Nope. Also, the Korok. There's just a lot to check out. <laughs> and this Korok location is identical to the Breath of the Wild Great Plateau one. Like, same exact tree, same exact leaf pile. But just here instead of Great Plateau. Oopsies. Hmm. How do we find exactly one more well? It's harder the more you found. And I didn't have the sensor on this whole playthrough, obviously. So some of the final wells we just found because of the sensor. Oh, that works. Okay. Again, in style. Blindfolded. No fall damage because we have this armor on. Oh, and it popped my fairy butter. <laughs> Ow. Everything's working out for you guys. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't think there's a better shield combo than this. Thank you, Sean, so much for the 20. Uh, <laughs> dearly beloved, we are here today to remember the blue boko. Let all the mighty gods, Hylia, bless your soul. Welcome to heaven. But I don't know if these monsters go to heaven, you know? There's a special place in uh, Blood Moon Hell for them. And then they come back, so. It's like a temporary purgatory. Their life only truly ends when Ganon dies. So you know what? That's why we don't like Ganon. 
It's fine. <laughs> Died to the burning, not the parry. Either or. A dead bat is a good bat. Oh. More blue bacoblin hell. Put, put some out. No, what are you doing? You saw me using the fire. <laughs> that was just stupid timing. You run up to him, see, so does it <laughs> bait out his attacks? Nice. See, that was a good one. Minoru did the right thing there. Ow. That was a little too close. No, <laughs> don't stop putting him out. You only use that. Wait, did you just use it on when there's fire or something? Yeah, yeah. Wait a second. Minoru keeps using the. <laughs> Was that a coincidence every time or what? Wait, let me, let me, let me, let me. Don't make this the discovery of the stream, please. <laughs> Does Minoru actually put out fires? Unless it's maybe just an enemy on fire. Me just wasting all my fire fruits for the essence of discovery. Also, the, the blue bacalbon is your friend. All bogos go to heaven. Well, that's why they're beliefs. You can believe what makes you happy. So, if you want to imagine happy blue bacalbons in heaven that I believe deserve the slaughtering, then so be it. But yeah, thank you for the four. Oh. I'm not thank myself for messing that up. Oh, so yeah, there was a there was a quark puzzle in Breath of the Wild where you had to take like a metal cube here and bring it to the top of there, and you would do so with the uh, like cryonis blocks. But now it is a little different. See, for these you have to use the diving animation, so. Well, it would have been awesome if we just made it the first time, but how do you do this one naturally? <laughs> I think it's made for you to glide into it, perhaps. Perhaps. I think that is certainly the point. Okay. So yeah, so that one's made to be like that. Because <laughs> sometimes these have like a clever like diving platform. Uh, but yeah, it's different from the Breath of the Wild ones, because those ones you can just jump into from almost any height. So you can just make like a, a cryonis block, and it'll work. But they changed it, so you would have to actually uh, do a proper dive. Which makes sense. I, I agree with that change. Mm. Oh, okay. We could try to look around for the final well. Or we could try looking for the last two caves and maybe naturally find the well alongside there. Because I think that would make more sense. Because uh, with caves, we can have actual direction if we just, uh, like, um, follow the cherry blossoms. Also, while I said that, I just realized, never been to the outpost ruins, and this feels like it could be a well location, you know? Like, there's a lot of ruins there. I'd never even touched them. Okay, we'll do this. Um, yeah, then Cherry Blossom locations. Uh, as we're looking for the beams of light, I can get nearby Koroks and uh, monsters for the Medal of Honors. Uh. What about the one black Bacoblin in the well during the fight for Lurlin? I almost forgot about that. Was Oh, yeah, there was a well. Say so that's done. You guys remember a lot of these wells. Uh, it's well that there's only 58 of them because there's not even half the amount of wells as caves because caves there's like 140 something, I think. Wells is only 58, but I guess they feel frequent because there's like clear patterns on them, like one in every stable kind of. Uh, I don't know. And then you pass them a lot again. Also, my well radar isn't going off. 
thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're at those ruins. Um, we're gonna go a little deeper this way and then the other way again. Honey. <laughs> All honeys and bees are hearted. Am I wearing an ugly sweater? Yeah, kind of. It's, well, not an intentionally ugly one, but semi Christmassy. That's like the only one I had that fit the vibe. Because it is Christmas in a couple days. Uh, which, to, you know, to those who celebrate, Merry Christmas. Uh, I celebrate, but we don't do anything too fancy. Um, but yeah. Half the time I forget it's the holiday season. Uh, my two cents on being festive. So that's all. Love the sweater, thank you. I've been getting more into sweaters, just like normally, not just well, this one. Oopsies. Ow. But yeah, sweaters are nice. I like warm clothes. Because personally, I'm weird where uh, I like to uh, I keep my house cold, but I dress warm because I feel like it just feels nicer rather than just feeling clammy all the time. So, yeah. Sweaters indoors. Let's see, I'm just totally ignoring these guys because you know what? They're small fry. Shoot me with an arrow, I'll parrow it. Wait, ow. <laughs> Did it work? Or you just get out of the way? Nice! The gust actually hit him. I'm like, will that work? It did it to the opposite one. Actually using Tulin's gust as a weapon. And it, I think it made that guy fall. Wasn't quite paying attention, but seems to be fine. No, food later. Yeah, jump in. Jump in the fun pit. Okay, bye. What? Wrong element. There we go. Lame and nice. Ow. <laughs> Most of these hearts I lost today were from my own fires. <laughs> Not even me, just my own fires. There we go. <laughs> Stop putting them out! Stop doing that! Oh, didn't even put them out. Wrong timing. Wait, can I light it from his weapon? Okay, my theory is becoming more true. Whenever I'm lighting these guys on fire, Minoru always uses the water. Which is very counterproductive, but also funny that she does it. For how smart she is, normally. Oh. I mean, you're just gonna spray him with water anyways, so you know what? Take that as a win. Now... Wait, actually, Feroche. Do we need Feroche stuff? I believe we need the horn. I'm not gonna search through eight pages, I'm just gonna say yes. So there's no well here. I'm gonna go. Yeah, we can do that. Get ferocious part, because there's like, I think, two or three more dragon parts we need, and then we're good for the entire rest of the save. Which is kind of a good feeling, because we had to get a lot for like those green tunics. Um. Again, me being illiterate at <laughs> going through an inventory. Yeah. Stabilizer. Where are you? There you are. Let's see if I remembered. Did I? No, not quite. Wait, are the mono... Okay, the springs are at the bottom. The monocycle's near the top. Gotcha. Favorite land vehicle. Or most convenient. At least this is probably the most convenient vehicle the game gives you for, like, schematics. Because hover bike is the most overall, obviously, but that's more of a, you know, <laughs> fan spread thing. This one's actually a Yiga schematic. It's funny, too, how it's listed in, like, the, uh, the order. Because technically, like, the Yiga camps have, like, an order in terms of, like, the different schematics. Like, they're numbered. Um, this would be number one. And it's, like, the one that you get, uh... It's actually at this camp, right by the plateau. So technically, yeah, if you just do Koga, go there, you get the monocycle, which is like 
the best one. This one's good. Super Spring's really good. And uh, specifically, the Rainmaker is really good against Mokdorok. And Queen Gibdo, too. Because it just drenches its whole area with rain constantly. So good against things that need to be wet or things that are weak to it. Like Mokdorok and Gibdo. Also, I am amazing at driving this. I should get my license revoked immediately. Yeah. Are you going to do Quark Run in Tears? I mean, I would love to, definitely. I, the goal is to do them all, just like we did with Breath of the Wild. Oh. I cook your bananas. All right. <laughs> so you knew it was a trap. Fine then. I don't know. You better save the bananas. Fine. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Actually, yeah. We will eat this stuff. I could use a restore. Salty fish. And we can't ruin the nice looking foods. You know, these, these look fancy together. So you know what? Apple time. <laughs> Two more trips to this Tori and that'll be max, so. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, don't start driving it. No! Come back, car. Not equipped for the combat. That's fine. <laughs> as long as I'm doing something. Okay. But I have a game to test out here. We're going to put one more enemy on fire. Whoa! Hello! And we got him on the way over! That was kind of cool. Okay, fire. Don't use a hydrant. Oh, you're just bad. <laughs> I, I wasn't even expecting that guy. Perry! Perry, stop! What, what's going on? Perry! <laughs> what are you trying to take? <laughs> Oh my god. Just everything was going... In fact, very right up until that. In like an accidental way. Like nothing was hitting me. When I deserved to get hit. But then when I deserved to parry, it didn't parry. So yeah, I would love to go here. Because, uh... Oh, I missed the Korok. Because I... I was here before because I was trying to find the cave. Like in Breath of the Wild, there was like a small cave in here, but they plugged up a lot of those in this game. But I didn't think to go on top. So, there we go. So thank you, Sean, for the membership. I appreciate it. Thank you for giving back. Also, do I use any glitches that still work? Uh, I never really got into like the exploit thing in this game and like duping and all that. Uh, I don't know, I just think it kind of layman's the playthrough a bit, because, you know, everything I got, I, I worked hard for, you know? So, I like that feeling of accomplishment that exploits would take away, so. You know how many hours have we put into the game? Uh, for this playthrough, we just hit 300, so, uh, yay, milestone, milestone, yeah. <laughs> but technically a little more, oh! Okay. So <laughs> always the emptiest areas have the baddest little guys. You know, I'm going to use that new bow because it's a pretty nice bow. What's like the ultimate -est way of taking him on? Mm. Oh, I do have a good one. I have a very good one. Here, let's swap into some attack -y stuff. That's fine. We're not getting hit. We Ooh! Ah. Okay, you get over here. I call this one the double boomerang. Because there's two boomerangs. Go like that. It did not get them all. There we go. Second one. It kind of worked. Go! 
the damage. Minura, just 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 do some. I guess I will. Boomerangs are very good. Or two-handed spinnies. Those work fine too. You know what? Let's do a little silly. I think it might just hit on you. Wait, hit again? Hit again? Two hits? Okay. Topping out the water. Ooh, the multi-hits. If you just keep running away from it, it'll just keep falling you, which is really nice. There we go. Awesome. See? <laughs> With a speed buff that works like a charm. It's just so heavy. But also, yes, I did need one of these. Um, that would be a mass sword fusion, but this thing's already going to break. So... No, you don't get the Hydra anymore. That was, that was a dumb plan. Yeah. Okay. So the extra barren areas are typically gloom hands. Which makes sense. Dragon's going into the depths. You know what? First, I gotta do a little fight. My attack buff won't help with the mech, but uh, his only helmet does. So this increases Manure's attack strength to the max. And then with a good weapon, ice, you can nearly two shot a silver. Weapons typically last like 15 hits. There we go. Battlebot combo. You know what? Throw the bomb. Or just block it. And it did absolutely nothing. Ooh, okay. Thank you for hurting your friend. How? <laughs> Going the complete wrong way every time. Pit. Right, you can't parry it back. No thanks. <laughs> you know what? Let's be a little snappier about this. And get him, okay. I guess that way it didn't blow up the jellies. Ow! But they blew up me. <laughs> it literally launched up. That's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's something. Sure is. Nothing more apples can't fix. <laughs> Fast can you mash? Um, no, I like that, but... I'm gonna go back to Glide because I do want that Feroche Horn. I believe that's the part we need. It just was going in that thingy, so I need to go to that thingy. The teleport might be faster. Yeah, plus I can see if the well is there too. <sighs> but yeah, finding that last one's gonna be a tad tricky. There were just some weird ones that we missed. Like, we missed one that was in, like, the Terrytown racing track area. Uh, it is blended in with, all, like, with the buildings there, so I didn't see it. Also, crap, this is a uh, cave one. Get out. We never make these ones simple. Oh, wait, can you just climb that? Okay. One, two, three, yes. No. No sense on frogging for such a little hop. Also, your cousin is watching my tears playthrough. Uh, she said my reaction to the gloom hands when I first saw them <laughs> made her spray out Gatorade all over her dog from what? <laughs> no. I didn't mean my pain to be reflected on other people like that. <laughs> no, I, I was terrified. So, like, like, genuine fear, which is, like, something I don't feel from a game at all. So... <laughs> I'm glad people uh, found that reaction relatable. <laughs> but that is really funny. Yeah, it was uh, basically seeing a guardian for the first time, but without knowing what a guardian was. But also just more terrifying. Also, I think that... Yep, there he is. Okay. You hope they buff the gloom hands in the future with more reach. Look, I already have enough problems with them. 
I'm only fine with them in this playthrough because I have everything. But it's not going to be most playthroughs. Challenge runs against them. Oh, boy. See, any attack that has good splash damage, uh, I guess especially freezing stuff is good. Or just, like, very good spin-to-win weapons. Like, this is also a viable option. Uh, good spinny weapon. Or, like, the lizard tails. No! My save's right there. I, I can just... Yeah. I was just trying to... <laughs> No, I don't have words for that. I can't get out of that excuse. Okay. <laughs> what I think the best part of this game is, I really like, uh, well, experimentation would be a big one. So that just the fact that I can explore a somewhat familiar world, but just in completely crazy and different ways. Uh, it's like a nice love letter to what Breath of the Wild was, but also being its own thing. So I do find that pretty cool. Um, secondly, I do like the story dynamic between Rauru and Gandorf a lot. If we're talking about story things, uh, there was kind of some odd choices with this game's story. Like, I wasn't a big fan of the dungeon quest line stories. Uh, you know, they're very repetitive amongst the four, I felt. Um, but everything between, like, the duality between Rauru and Ganondorf, uh, how it's all set up at the beginning of the game, it's like... Gandalf starts talking to you and Zelda about things that you don't even know, uh, but the pieces start slowly filling themselves in. Like, that made that so cool, and obviously that's an experience that can really only have in your first playthrough, but sometimes I think back on its story and just those aspects of it, the memories, the finale, just phenomenal. Some of my favorite storytelling bits in the Zelda game, amongst some of my least favorite bits. Um, just, yeah. <laughs> Most story was good. Dungeon quest lines, probably some of my least favorite. But, I don't know. I just, I guess I like those things. Experimentation. Uh, I guess if that's just what stands out to me right away. Let's, let's go with that. Please, it's moving faster than I can. Ooh, thank you. Okay. We needed that. And I think just one more of that and one more of the others. I don't remember. Uh, but... That's pretty good. Also, we haven't been there. Oh, the garrison ruins could have a well. <laughs> I could check like every little place. Like, hmm, you might be a well. You might be a well. Also, all the Breath of the Wild wells are wells. Uh, <laughs> do wells appear on the map? Well, well, they don't. <laughs> well, they do there, but like from a sky view, I don't think so. Unless they do. Yeah. Um. Well, let me think. For now, I think we're gonna do cherry blossom stuff and I'll think about well stuff as we need to. So if I look at here, I just take a picture of it. Um, I think the area where I least likely, or most likely am to find one of the new ones would be the one by Hateno, I wanna say. And it shouldn't be that bad. You know what? We get a good bird's eye view. We get some height. Maybe if I just go to the sky and look, because I don't really do that. Yeah, I should probably do that. Okay. You know what? I'm going to redact that and do the... Lurlin one. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going back again. There we go. Also, thank you, Sean, for the five and the two. Um, yeah, when I'm on Discord, it's very contingent. I'm just when I'm on because uh, I can't promise anything. I'll pop in the server here and then. But uh, usually if you do want to talk, I do have channels there. And uh, I also have an ask channel for if you just want to ask me questions I didn't get to on stream. Uh, usually I respond to stuff there. So. Okay, I'll coffee. <laughs> Also, which region is my favorite? I always love the Desert Canyon, which is still true. Um, but I also, yeah, the, the Goron Mines, like North Mine area is really cool in Breath of the Wild with like all the cannons and lava and lizards. 
Um, not green Adro. But, in, yeah, in this game, it's just really cool because all the interconnecting caves. So, just every regional phenomena area in this game is just awesome. Um, or in terms of Breath of the Wild regions, uh, it was more so, I don't know, stuff like a Call of Citadel was awesome. Uh, in the castle. That game has b both my favorite Citadel and Castle. So, compared to this. Just the energy with like all the Guardian ancient tech. Great contrast to just the emptiness around it. Uh, you really just felt the weight of the calamity and what it did to the world in those two places. Where this, it still feels cool. Like the flowing castle. Uh, the Citadel's alright. But there's just so much weight with the calamity and having those two very center pieces in it. I wasn't paying attention to the stamina because I don't pay attention. I don't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was like. I always forget which heart mountain is the other heart mountain. It's like, is this the cracked one? Oh yeah, it is the cracked one. Why does the Tenno get the cracked one? But the wilderness gets the pure one. Also, yeah, any fruit. So, by that logic, tomatoes are fruit. So we will offer you tomatoes. And this is for the cave. Also, yeah, when it comes to bands and Discord stuff I'm talking about here, like. Like, please don't discuss, like, Discord bans and stuff like that, because that's why I have mods on the Discord, and they're very competent with what they're doing, um, but I, I'm not going to talk about bans and stuff like that here, because it's not the right place. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Anything that I said before is, uh, well, it still holds true. Okay. Um, so I see a little spark there. You know what? <laughs> or rather, inst instead of checking everyone like that, let's go to the sky. We could go to this archipelago and we'll have a much better vantage point, I feel. Or you know what? Let's go. Also, I'm catching a ride with, uh, Miss Dragon. Let's go there. Just use a couple springs just for the need of it. There we go. That should get enough height. We just gotta catch the updraft, so I think we can just barely get it. <laughs> that spring shot's helpful, but it does require a bit of uh, finesse and practice. Hopefully we're not too low. We shouldn't be. We're good. Okay. <laughs> that was very close, actually. We're going to be a little cold, but you know what? I can suck it up. Mm. Where are my cold charms at? There they are. <laughs> There's always up to 12. They, uh... Regen on kind of a random timer, so if it hasn't been a while, you won't see all 12. But I think for me, it's been a while, so. Was it five? I'm half counting. Okay, let's actually collide between them. Much better. Yeah, let's take a couple damage. Eight, nine. Oh, 10, 11, and where's number 12? There's number 12, unless there's a 13. No, my hypothesis seems correct. I've never gotten more than 12, so I'm pretty sure it's just up to 12. Hmm. I do need a weapon. Hello. Wait, it's it's like high up. No, I need, no. <laughs> 
It was like stuck on something up there. Okay, at least we have skydive armor. Ah! Okay. Now that's good. Um. Yeah, we'll just say we have enough. Oh, I can actually nab a Korok really quick. Looks like. Remember, I didn't pin them all because I don't have max pins, but... Uh, at the time I last visited this camp, I didn't know about the Korok pattern here. That is, yep. On top of every single one, there is a nice guy. I've not seen one that was different. But I didn't know about that until I probably visited every single one already. So... Yeah, the sooner you discover the patterns, the easier. But, again, they're patterns because he's seen multiple of them before, so... Yeah, easy to miss the early ones. No, I got one fruit, too. Should we fight? You know what? We're here. I think they deserve a good beating. Oh, that could have been very bad, you know, but it wasn't. It was just fine. Okay, take care of the blues at least. Bye bye. <laughs> Fancy. He's got that shock in the rain. What are you gonna do with that, huh? Oh, <laughs> more so what's Minoru gonna do with that? Okay. <laughs> just barrel him. I'm patient. No, I'm not. Die. Oh, oh my god. It's... I thought it cracked the crate, but it didn't. <laughs> my bad. Oh well. Still silly. Thank you, because he was about to whack me. Am I doing this? I don't know. <laughs> Chested. Always like a funny stick, you know? You're one for your funny sticks. But you know what? We got. Ooh, you know what? I haven't got to use this one a lot. But it's raining. You can get max efficiency out of it by using the lightning bolt. <laughs> there we go. And one for you. <laughs> there we go. Lightning bolt. Oh, uh, please give it back. In style? I need the recall for yeet. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna give that back and leave you alone. Lightning bolt. <laughs> Not good for the indoor spaces, but hey. We did well. Lightning bolt. <laughs> it, it's just pretty fun. It looks cool, too. That's the main reason why I have it. <laughs> oh. You just conducted that, didn't you? Mm, bit of flurry, sure. There we go. And the last one. <laughs> Get the parts before they despawn. I forgot there's like cage stuff in here. I like the cage stuff. Here, we'll deal with you at the end. Looting first. This one gets to watch me destroy their home. Roast them over. Oh, we could. I was truly feeling cool. Wait a second. I never thought about it this way. Oh, yeah, that's an easier way to get them in these. I didn't even think of that before. Oh yeah, if you keep if they jump, which they always do because they can't find a path. <laughs> Here. I'll make a little silly fire for ya. Spit roast them. I was assuming it would work differently. So be it. You wanna be a little annoying guy? We'll just send him to space. You're not gonna like the trip back down. We don't have that safety gear installed. But, regardless, 
Safe travels. And? Happy holidays. Whee! <laughs> bye bye. And just for you, that's not a good fall. That was a very bad fall. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> we had liftoff. And that's why we take down the last survivor with ultimate cruelty. Oh, yeah, nice. Do we have all of our weapons? <laughs> they made it back. Good. That was a silly one. And I forgot about that. Maybe yeah, we can get some food from this guy, I think. Uh, unless we're maxed out on food, we're not. Blood Moon? <laughs> one HP food? Okay, that's a little better. That's really good. Hearty elixir. Why does that boomerang look like it's just longer? Uh, I guess because the fusion. I don't know, it's like a weird shape, but it's the same color, and I'm like, looks kind of like an axe to me. Again, there's so many weapons, and really good weapons. Some I just have kind of for unique use or style. Uh, same with this one. This one just looks cool together, you know? It's like a giant ice rod, but without the normal property, just, I don't know. It looked cool. I just kept it ever since, so. I always have a couple weapons like that. Um, then we just have the stuff that's really good for damage or whatever. Which I use sometimes, you know? The point of every fight isn't to see how fast we kill things. It's more so how interesting I can kill them. Because, you know what? Again, it's like being different from Breath of the Wild. I don't want to kill stuff the same way I did in that game. Because I already played a lot of that game. Different is good. Also, is that a cave? No, it's not. Maybe it's not. Um. All right, that's what we're doing. We're in the middle of looking for caves. Which is not nice in this rain, but you know what? I don't actually think it matters. So we're going to go here and pin every single one of the light flashes. Um, again, only two more caves, one more well. All right, also, my shield is a hero shield because it's the highest durability shield without being the Hylian. So it's good for like fusions because it uh, only takes up one thing. Like if I do like a spring shield, it only takes up one of those 90 uses. So that's why I do that. Um, oh, we didn't start here. Oh, no. <laughs> but the second ice will be, I think, the Daybreaker, which only has 60. So this has literally 50% more durability than even the Champion's Daybreaker. So. But still, nothing's like Hylian. This has 800. So, <laughs> tanky stuff is nice. This shield looks nice. Also, Mr. Flux, what are you doing there? You know, I might just take his part, because... It's silly. Oh, it's a three. Uh oh, no, mine! Whew. Gonna get on here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, come on. If we have the extra parts. A lot of extra parts. Oh, wait, what? Wrong bow. <laughs> what I meant is this. I forgot you had a lot of health, too. So not the outcome I hoped for. Uh oh, get out, block. No! <laughs> Boxed in. For a case like this, pure damage is fine. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. Well, I did that so I could kind of upgrade my Master Sword a bit. That should be fresh. Yeah, 32 is nice. Again, Master Sword, Gloom Weapons, or Talus Hearts. Oh, wait. Gloom weapons, Talus hearts, and uh, flux cores. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I put those either on Master Sword or Minru. I'm just messing up my words. Handy. I don't use them for anything else. Uh, but yeah, we're looking for caves. So, where can I find a cave? It's gonna be hard because some of them are just like awkwardly. 
Yeah, so let's point to that cave clearly. You know, to make it easier. Oh wait, no, that wouldn't make it easier. Um, if we just left it there for now. Okay, we got that cave. I can see on the mini map if I'm like just right on. Yep, that's that cave. Let's see. Do we see those three caves? I'm just gonna check the map. We got the one in the navel, I know that. Here, that was an enemy base. Yep, I, I'm actually right on it, so. And there. Okay. So all those caves currently are good. We got them. The two Kakarikos, yeah, Kuko Hideaway and the little waterfall thingy. It's like a really odd one that's just in that waterfall top. One of the easiest ones to miss in the game, actually. Pretty sure that one had enemy outpost. Yeah, sure did. That was a cave I remember. It was like a very small slit cave. Hmm. Okay, we seem to be all good on those. Hmm. Okay, I need to check every region because I just there's like a few that I know that I need to check. But I know by the end that we'll have the caves. Because I'm pretty sure every single cave is represented by a thingy. Okay. So, Eventide Cave, clearly. There are the ones that are in this area, which I, I did all those. <laughs> the one where you got a whistle to open, I remember that. It took me a bit to figure that out, because there was nothing really cueing you to whistle it. You just had to hope you would, you know, make sense of it. Uh, yeah, Pateno Caves. I couldn't tell what that was for a bit. Uh, yep. That was the one that was far. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Again, we saw all those. See, I think this is the region where it is clear. And again, I'm glad I'm high up because that's the only way I can see all this stuff. But I guess I can't see stuff on the other side of that mountain, so. Wait, what's that one again? Right, it's like, okay. No, we should be fine for anything that's visible. We did, okay. So I am going to check the stuff on the other side of the mountain. And it would just be easy to warp. And if that's done, then we use only a couple more. And oh wait, uh, for the whistling cave, those treasure hunters? Oh, they tell you the riddles for the whistling. Oh, okay. You know what? We actually should do that quest because you have to buy each of those quests, but I'm pretty sure that's for the completion. Like, we're still missing like 10 quests. I'm pretty sure at least like three of them are some of those side quests. Yeah. So, the Wells one is obviously one too. But yeah, I didn't think of that, so, or I didn't think of that recently. I thought about it a while ago, and like, we should do that, and I just haven't done it. But I guess that makes sense, that it'll give those things. Okay, also, it doesn't look like we saw anything new. Because yeah, that one just was kind of a random cut through. Yeah, a pathway cave. So yeah, you can get a nice bird's eye view and it really looks like we missed down here. Also, that was a fun shrine puzzle. The one where we had a shield surf down the mountain. Start from there. I just thought that drop was cool. You start there, then drop all the way with the shield surf. Good times. So last final check, I promise this is it then. Eight points. Uh, we're going to delete all the pins. Whoop. Whoop. Not those. Not those either. Okay. And the next cherry blossom would be the one that's here. Or whether it's here. It's somewhere in this area. I don't remember exactly. I'll, I'll see it like immediately. Hmm. Yeah, how is the whole uh, War of the Wells quest, not a side adventure? 
That's probably the most side adventure side quest in the game. Unless I'm thinking of another one. Or missing one, rather. Um, but usually side adventures consist of multiple quests, but I guess because there's only multiple objectives and not multiple quests. That's why it's considered a quest. That makes sense. So, hmm. Here we go. Also just joined, uh, but did I watch the Game Awards? Um, I saw like a couple minutes on and off. Uh, so not really, I just more so saw some highlights and I'm glad it, this is like the first year I haven't watched them all the way through because I'm not really missing much from them, honestly. Like it's a lot of just very cinematic trailers about games I don't really care about. Um, it's just more of a way to just, you know, advertise games and you know, Put attention on a few really bizarre ones uh, that I don't really care about personally, you know. Uh, also, like the big problem, it's like it doesn't really feel like an award show. Like they barely get the ta people time to like talk about their craft, which is like the cool thing. Like game awards should be about passion about the industry, but this just seems like a bunch of advertising and stuff I don't really care about. So um, it's not really something that I'm very invested in anymore, you know. I was also following the hype over years, but it's, I don't know. feels very disingenuous to what the gaming community actually wants. So, personally, I'm not a fan. I'd rather spend that time playing new games, honestly, rather than just three hours that were boring that I'll never get back. So, but yeah, awesome that Zelda one. Uh, adventure game. Action adventure, yeah. <laughs> Wait, was the category action adventure or just adventure? I don't remember. Um, but obviously very well deserved. I would hope Zelda at least win something, so I'm glad. Um, made sense why I didn't win Game of the Year, because, uh, I mean, obviously fantastic game and fantastic sequel to, uh, you know, what Breath of the Wild was. It's, it was everything I wanted, but um, it wasn't holistically groundbreaking like uh, Breath of the Wild was. Like, Breath of the Wild deserved everything. It just completely broke the industry, just totally new, totally fresh. Uh, but this game is really awesome, and definitely some new mechanics, and very polished mechanics, like uh, the different hand abilities and the building stuff. But I don't think quite it was deserved to have, uh, you know, Game of the Year over truly different titles. So I think it's fine. I didn't play any other games that were really nominated besides Mario, um, but I'm not mad that it didn't win. Yeah, I heard great things about Baldur's Gate, but it's very hard because Baldur's Gate is in the type of game that um, I would just never play, you know? It's, after all, not all games are suited for everyone, and uh, Baldur's Gate, I know it's like kind of that D&D &D style, and it's just not up my alley, like, you know, 0%, so... I'm just gonna take people's word for it that just really a phenomenal game and I heard so and I know a lot of people really like it so it's like hey I'm happy that you got a big one especially over a giant like Zelda you know like if it was really just a smaller game that's that good to beat a new Zelda game like honestly props so like that's that sort of stuff's cool you know and I am gonna do a mental count on which ones we need because I know the Citadel stuff's good. Yep, everything there is good that I see in my sightlines. Mm. Zora Cave, yep, that's the one with the Chasm Pit. Uh, there's a lot of ones here, so I'm gonna do like a mental scan. So let's see, line of three going into that. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, boom, boom, boom. So those are all good. Um, I need like pack up so I can go back. And, uh, it, is that? Why does that one look a little? Am I blocking it or something? Is that is, is that one of them? Wait a second. Is it really? Oh, <gasps> cave! That's one of them! Of course it's a Linero one. Um, Upland. 
Seems a little small. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was like, is it just an ascend to the tower? This is probably the last one you're supposed to take on the route up. Interesting. I didn't even see this cave. We go with the fast fire. Okay. Um, Zora for the style, aesthetic, you know. Oh man, this is a uh, cool second to last cave. And I really like these Zora ones. So. Surprised that's. Uh, yeah, Colton doesn't point to this one. Yeah, the blue rocks. Uh, some interesting enemies and stuff. It's got a lot of rain to deal with, but you know what? Oh, that's probably why these are here for. I would figure as such. Oh, you know what? <laughs> right. Puzzle motif. You start the cave by ascending, so once you use this to ascend. Better than trying to climb in the rain. Yep, okay. Why are you eating the fruit? I mean, nice to eat a healthy snack, but... No, mine. Good for some armor upgrade. <gasps> Rare stone. Yes, please. Oh, so yeah, they all had ice fruits. Oh, hi. Wait, maybe they had ice fruits because if, I don't know, the platforms broke, they could make ice platforms. Ooh, yay. Fast fire. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's another ascent thing. <laughs> I like when the caves have like a puzzle theme like this. Or you can not see it as a puzzle. You can just be like, oh, I'm just going to fly there with the fr froggy set or whatever. But yeah, there's always like some sort of puzzle motif. And that one, for two of the transport things, it was ascent. Oops. <laughs> and it kind of shows that off by starting the cave with that. That's kind of cool. There's not many caves that have like small little puzzle stuff built in. Oh, and for this one, it gives you all the ice fruit. So it's like, hey, now, how do you get up? Well, you just got like a billion ice fruit from killing those guys. And here you go. Ba bam. <laughs> okay, I really like stuff like that. Like, I like when the caves are puzzly. You know, it's funny because I think the last cave we found was also one tied to like a regional phenomena area because usually there's a bunch yep so that's pro probably supposed to be the final cave that you're supposed to find yeah but i went there instead okay or how did i do it i don't know <laughs> interesting I, I think i took that water or something so cool that is the second to last cave and now we just need one more cave one more well but I think the final cave may be in this area, honestly. There is a decent chance. I mean, I'm just excited. I finally did it. Um, oh, you know what the good thing is? We just, we're right by the tower. We can search again. It's like it was meant to be. Yeah, we only have one cave left. Uh, wow. Also, yeah, thank you to everyone who's been tuning in. This has been a fun stream of just checking stuff out, getting more objectives and yeah, already found half of what we need to today. The final well is going to be a bit harder, so we're, we're going to... That's pretty contingent still, but uh, this cave, we got to find it, you know? Okay, also, there's four openings around here. Can we find all four? One, two, three. Okay, so it's... That's a new opening, it looks like, somewhere, but it's not a new cave. So we can still go there to unlock the opening. Because, yeah, I think it's good for map percentage still, right? We need that. Wait, I'm going to see which one it is specifically. Is it that purple? Yeah, okay, so there's a cave right there. That's kind of cool. But yeah, I doubt it's actually a new cave. Well, we'll still check it out. but Because, um, yeah, for map percentage, we need every little thing. It counts towards some fraction of a percent. 
Okay, that's good. That's good. What is that? that was, yeah, that was one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Eric is in the sky. They're rarely an issue, but they still can be. Was that the chest cave? I think it was. Yeah, that's where those quest givers are that we were talking about. Also, I'm looking at three more. Oh, yeah, that's the cave with the, uh, right, the one moonlight opening. <laughs> also, thank you, Zentarth, for the two. Uh, last cave is nearly upon us. It's, uh, it's gonna be awesome to see, because I, you know, first experience. And that's, like, the last major objective. Like, still there's Korok seeds, but, you know, it's, like, main stuff, then shrines, then caves, I feel like, under that. So, kind of hierarchy of big things to cross off. So caves is the next biggest thing. And Koroks would be like the last big thing, but smaller in the hierarchy. Okay, um, you know, this could be another cave. I feel like it all connects. What if it is the last cave though, you know? There's always that chance. It could just be close, you know, to the others. Also, did we find all three caves in there? I think we did. Yeah, okay. Those all just connected to each other. Yeah, so I believe that's just going to be part of the same system. But Hey, map percentage is map percentage. We need 100% and that means everything. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll get miffed if I find the wells, Koroks, caves, and enemies. Uh... And I didn't get 100%. I mean, assuming I got all the objectives, the only thing I would need for 100% would be map locations, which pretty much every single map location has something. But there is sometimes a couple map locations that uh, don't have any of those things. Um, so like some like special like grooves and even bridges that don't have like Koroks in them uh, still have, uh, you know, the map location thing. So I'll have to get all that. So yeah, I believe this will be the same one, but it is. Okay. Just an alternate egg entrance I didn't find. But still cool. This was so big that I just didn't see part of it. At this point, seeing anything new is just so exciting. Also, good combo, Minero. Minero is much better when you actually have uh, good attachments and not hydrants. Okay. Who's near? No one? Okay. I overreacted. Hmm. Also, I don't, do I? Okay, so I just didn't continue going that way. I probably saw it, but I'm like, oh, I didn't, like, when I was in the cave the first time, I probably wasn't thinking about completionist things because it's so early. So I probably saw the exit, but I was like, oh, okay, there's an exit. Oh, I don't want to exit, I just entered. So. No. Oh my! <laughs> Good time for my freezy to break. Ow! And bad time for that. Okay, this guy is the height, so you know what? Ah! Come on! Expected the accuracy a tad better. I should not fail this bad against the like like of all things. I don't like like that. I didn't like like that either. Maybe not. <laughs> this is the most painful like like fight. I lied. I'd worse. Let's uh. Doesn't need to be bad. Those are cool. You know what? Would it not fit the theme? It totally would. Oh. A little bit of a spare. But also, how, I am, how long am I going to be in this area? I think we just saw them uh, in terms of cave entrances. So, you know, yeah, it is good that we're checking all of them because, 
Even if I'm not finding new caves, I could find new entrances. And that's required. Okay, let me go. I'm going to check on the next one, which, if I remember correctly, <laughs> by just looking at here. Um, you know, no harm in going to the Akala Goron one. Right? Yeah. Which should be... Here? Here. Ish. Also, hey, Beck. Thank you so much for the five. Uh, lurker for years. Looking for the last quarter percent of your map, really. <laughs> happy holidays, Sam. Love your content. Thank you so much. And happy holidays to you, too. Um, yeah, it's always that final bit is a struggle. Because um, of just, like, those few name locations. Uh, there's, like, probably just a handful of bridges that don't have Koroks that uh, you got to find those things for. Also, just the last few Koroks are bad, too, if you didn't get those yet. Um, but, you know, it's very accomplishing, and it's like, as long as you're having fun in between, you're just still, I don't know, making an adventure out of it. Then it never gets old. So, that's how I like to play this stuff, and Tears really gives you the tools to have a good adventure. There we go. Lightning bolt. <laughs> yep. Extra speed and range. That's a good supplement for the arrows, and... You only need one for that. Plus, I think it's nifty. No, what's not nifty is not finding the cherry blossom that I was totally confident about. Okay, we're like here, apparently. And... Come to think of it, have I ever used this tree? I may not have. Because I'm drawing a huge blank on where it is. Also, yeah, this boomerang is the sea breeze one. Because uh, it just looked cool with us. I'm like, you know what? I made a couple weapons just based on, like, the color scheme and patterns. And just sometimes the properties just align and actually function well, too. So that was my uh, motif behind this. Oh, there's Dinrel. I, again, need that horn. So maybe I should get it. Let's see how the Bacoblin. I wasn't paying attention. I thought he was dead. He's dead to me. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sure I looked at it twice. Uh, maybe I didn't. You know what? I'm going to get the dragon. And if it's a dragon, I never feel guilty about doing a hoverbike. Because that's like the one time I justify it. It makes sense. And I just need to grind out the parts. Again, I don't... I think we just need, like, two general parts. I don't know. If not, we can use it for something else. Cool. Oh, it's a... Right! So it was like... <laughs> okay, so I did do that one before, but... Um... I never did that bird's eye thing from the sky before. I mean, I was missing out on a lot, so... That's why we're going back for it. <laughs> But yeah, we can see just any entrances for the percentage increase. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find that well. Exciting gameplay. Now, but we'll make this quick. Let's go. Not with my natural weakness. There we go. Almost had the stuff maxed out, too. Love the sweater. Thank you. It keeps me warm, so. Every year or so, I get another one because I'm just like, I've been just loving sweaters. Maybe I should have. Oh, I got it. That range was very generous. I saw it with a really stupid uh, distance plan there. But it worked out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. 
Yeah, it's been a while since I did them all, and I literally did all three today. We saw Light Dragon, too, kind of into Cluedo. But that's long far now. Here. Now I'm just going to switch that out. Because, yeah, with the max buff, this is like two times faster than paragliding. Mind you, you go down a lot faster, but it's almost exactly double the speed. But I guess with two elements, it's about the same speed. No. Was it on fu Wait. Huh? My boomerang's on fire. Someone. Oh, one of you just said it too. Huh? Well, you know what? It was probably low. We'll just make another one, right? That, they're not that hard to. <laughs> we we're just talking about how awesome they were. <laughs> I was so. You know, you're just like blind to certain things when you're looking at them for a while. Did I. Was I really on. I don't. Yeah, I was really just like. Paying attention to the tooling meter, I think. And also chat. Also, yeah, my Mar Mario screenshots. I've, I've been playing in it. It's been fun. I, uh, a few hours into it, I saw Geno and stuff like that. It's cool. I never played the original, although I was planning on it. Damn, I made a dumb mistake. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do this. Uh, bombs away. One day I'll look at it. Yeah. It's okay. Those boomerangs are very easy to get. That's another thing, too. Just You just gotta buy one of the Seabreeze things, which I have a lot of pose I never use. And, uh, just a Shockwing? And yeah, there's not, like, special modifiers on it, so just get whatever. Okay. Now, we will go to the sky. We'll, we'll just have to be back. No worries. And besides, those ones you can't repair anyways. So, because it's a special weapon. So, I don't feel too bad about it. I'm also just hurt its feelings. So, I can only feel bad about that part. Also, yeah, that was the black and white cable over there. I think it's okay. I think I had horriblins in it or something. Again, we're only looking for one cave, so I probably will have to search every single one. But it's one cave and maybe some more entrances too, which is map percentage. So it'll be cool to see the ones I miss, because sometimes it means a section of the cave I miss too. Even if we got the gem. So I love this, because... Yay. I don't see those anymore too often. There isn't a convenient tower. This one might be nice. Yeah, I guess the weird thing is, like, it's, uh... I don't know wh where the regions are defined. So, like, that one gives you all the Elden ones, but then there's... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know exactly how the regions are defined for these, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, the lid. We had keep off. Also, just to be nice to Link. You weren't a treat. Um, no, scarf on the fed and truffles. Could have been so much greater by being cooked instead of baked. Also, I didn't realize I just went there. Um, okay. Oh, wait, is that stuff just illuminating from... Wait a second. Yeah, I feel like some of these cross over, because we got these ones from... Uh... Ugh. When we did the Lanero one, right? So the regions definitely cross over, because that is... Okay. There should be four right there, which would make sense. Sure does. Oh, wait, doesn't it? That's Citadel, right? Which means that... 
Yeah, one, two, three, four, because one, two, and then three, four. Okay, so yeah, definitely it crosses over, which is interesting. Yep, that is an exit and entrance, because that's uh, the seeker onto the labyrinth. That's what we took. Which I like that. I like how there's a different way now. Okay, when they reuse areas like that uniquely. Let's see, there's. Th this could be promising now, okay. It's so high up, so it's hard to get that bird's eye, you know? I feel like I still have to check the back side of it. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Never mind. Uh, two, three, yeah, for Thorona's sake, that looks right. Because one, two, three. Four, five, six. There's just a lot of caves because it's regional phenomena. And then the Isle of Rabbik one is the other one. Yep, Isle of Rabbik. Uh, <laughs> once, oh my god, that's so many. Four, five, six. Let's remove all those. That's the one where you get the trousers for the ember set. Or the shirt, rather. That's Gokul Tunnel, um, which was a pseudo cave in Breath of the Wild. That is. What, what is that one? Why does that pin not feel exact? I think it's starting the entrance one, but yeah, that's just the South Mine one. I don't know why it starts there, you know? Are you sure about that? Yeah. It just goes in a little bit before the cave starts, I believe. Because if I put a blue pin there. Oh, it does. Okay, never mind. I'm just being a little finicky. So what's that? Do we, do we get that chasm pit? Or whatever that is? <laughs> so one moment, I'll respond to chat in a second. Oh, that's the meat thing, right? Ooh, yeah. Get one every night. Make the most of it. Right, yeah, this one is we got that from Lanero too. These are all Lanero ones, right? We're just re-getting them now. Okay, that's where the treasure hunter quests were. I'm on like a mission, which is it's a kind of cool one. We're gonna check behind the volcano because I feel like that's a big potential in this spot, you know? Yeah, let's check behind the volcano. Because that all seems very good. Um, Behind the volcano. It's hard to get height and behind the volcano, so it's like, hmm. We could start near the tar top and just hover bike. Um. There we go. Also, do I like Breath of the Wild bowl time or Tears bowl time? I mean, the only really difference is that Breath of the Wild drains constantly in bowl time, where t Tears drains per shot. So I gotta say Breath of the Wild because I feel like this was a bit of an unnecessary streamline. Um, Cause think about like. How much more balanced like the Gliok fights would have been, for example. If like, yeah, obviously it's probably best to fight him by going into bullet time and shooting him. But there's like no, uh, you know, time limit on that. You can just enter bullet time, take your time, take down the heads with arrows, you're good. But with Breath of the Wild, it would have been like, oh crap, you got to move fast. Like, so it would have incentivized things like quick shot bows and good range bows. Where in tears, there's like no pressure in bullet time. It just feels like, oh yeah, you're just in bullet time free pass. But Breath of the Wild is like, okay, cool, we're slowing down, you know. I have time to do my shots and stuff, but I still gotta act quick. So, yeah, I do like the way that Breath of the Wild did it more. Um, this is more of a streamline, which I see. But in this case, I like the challenge of, you know, how Breath of the Wild did it. 
But I guess it's okay. Mm. Okay, yeah, that was a back cave, wasn't it? It was a back cave. Also, I noticed especially the regional phenomena areas are the ones that Colton doesn't point to sometimes. So I kind of was hoping the cave would be here. But also some of them are just very low. That's a problem. Like that, you couldn't see from like most angles. And yeah, we saw this stuff because that was all the stuff that was pinned. And it looks good and solid. Yep, that was okay. The one on the side. Yeah, I think we were pretty thorough here, so it would make sense if there is none. No, I just want to check, because I don't know where the region boundary is. Let's see Typhal Ruins, because I don't know how far it extends into that region. Um, also, yeah, Hebrew one could be cool. So we already checked almost half of them, right? I'm certain on. Because I'm pretty certain like, the, the desert, for an example. Like, desert's clear. Hmm. Oh yeah, I looked it up, but uh, for some reason they made Skyward Sword on the Switch, but not Twilight Princess, despite Twilight being more financially successful. Uh, well, I guess the big reason for that is because there's a pattern with the remakes of Zelda games. Uh, they typically make an HD version of a Zelda game after uh, 10 years after release. So Wind Waker came out in 2003, it got its HD version in 2013 for the Wii U. Um, so that pattern is true for Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Skyward. But the thing was, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess were during the Wii U era, when it was 10 years. Um, and, well, Skyward Sword was during the Switch era. So, that's the big reason why it's like that. But I would hope that Tears, or not Tears, Twilight and Wind Waker would come eventually. Every year I kind of hold out hope more and more. Because, I don't know. I think next year would be a good windows start releasing those for people play the crap out of tears and breath of the wild you know it's been a while since uh zelda game like that but you know more and more time <laughs> okay yeah i see all that you can see the crab really well from here crab shape that's cool that looks like good like everything is like yeah that's everything that we saw up there this was quite an awesome angle, too. So our real next step would just be checking out the other tree. So for here, we got Hitano 1, we got Zora 1, we got Elden 1. Um, I think Central 1's good. Like, I'm going with the ones that I'm least sure on first. So next one would be Hebra, because I think Hebra was like... It might have been the first one I did. First one I remember doing. Um, I'm, I feel pretty confident if we do go to the Hebrew one, and that should be close to a shrine. I think they all are for that specific reason. Isn't it that? No, I don't know. This is one of those shrines where it's hard to find without, uh, without the tree. So there's probably another one here that's like that. I would like to assume. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we'll go to Colton, Kilton after the caves, of course, but yeah. Also, hypothetically, if there's tears master mode, there would probably be like a bullet time mechanic like, like Breath of the Wilds. I can see that. I mean, it's pretty much confirmed that there's no DLC, likely no master mode for this too. Which again, I'm fine with because uh, master mode made more sense than Breath of the Wild since it was more, its combat was more technical. This is more experimental, and in a Master Mode world that enemies are tankier, it would, you know, throw off a lot of the strats in this game because it would be too weak then. So it would validate just a lot of fun, you know, physics-based combat. I mean, just think Breath of the Wild's Master Mode, like, using stuff like the bomb barrels was a lot weaker. You couldn't, like, roll over goblins with boulders on the plateau because they just would barely take any damage. Compared to the base version where they'll die instantly. So that game more so rewarded rewarded like the technical side, which is not as present here. So yeah, I totally get it. 
This game just it can be as hard or easy as you want. And you're just supposed to goof around, and that's why I like it. Okay, um, I think we're close. <laughs> there it is, okay. Also, do I think the gloom hands were a good idea? Because, uh, <laughs> these games are supposed to focus on a younger audience, and they're freaky. Uh, well, I guess to put it quite clearly, Zelda games used to have way more terrifying things in them, and they're rated E for everyone. So, honestly, I mean, gloom hands are probably amongst the most terrifying, but especially thinking back to things that were in, like, Ocarina, Majora's Mask and stuff, uh, Arguably in a very similar terror level, so this isn't too much of an outlier. Like Zelda's had some very terrible, terrifying things, like specifically like you know like Pose and Reeds and stuff from past games. Um, obviously we think the Ocarina of Time ones, but the Twilight Princess stuff got freaky. Like in terms of like blatantly freaky stuff, I think Twilight Princess still has this game pretty beat. Uh, not that it's competition, but you know. <laughs> So yeah, the way I see it is that uh, this game is for almost all ages, but uh, there still are things that are meant to explore a deeper, darker side. So, you know, discretion still advised, but I think it's fitting. It's nothing too over the top, you know? But then again, yeah, because like Zelda stuff, like when it is scary, it's just scary. It's not like gruesome, you know? Like, even when enemies die and stuff like that, they don't spill with, like, guts everywhere. It just, they poof, and then there's the loot, you know? If a human enemy dies, it's not even like that. They usually just, like, flip backwards and, like, teleport away, like, a Yiga member. So, yeah, it's gonna be scary stuff, but there's not, like, gruesome stuff. And I think kids can handle scary stuff. They'll be scared. But gruesome, that's not really appropriate, I think, for, you know, younger kids. So... That's, I guess, how Nintendo gets away with exploring deeper or darker things without, you know, scaring away a potential younger audience. So I think it's pretty well with that. But okay. I'm gonna freeze up a little bit, but I do need that bird's eye view. <laughs> Maybe I should... Okay, there we go. Two ways to do it, and I picked that. Also, bloopies to find caves. It is true, but not all caves have bloopies, so that's why I haven't been relying on that. Okay. Two. Is that pointing to that one, I think? Seems to be a bit of a blind spot. Where did I just pin? <laughs> Do I pin that one and that one? <laughs> Sorry, bit tricky here. Um, so that one, the purple one. Seems a little odd. Purple, purple. Sorry, I need to like place these pins closer. It's hard because. Where's the exact entrance? I don't know. Okay, so that is a cave, obviously. That's gotta be a cave too. Okay, yep. You are the mushroom cave, right? You are. Kind of a cool one. You are that one? Okay. Probably go for, to the wind temple after this and get those uh, just better high ground. We're gonna get a rhythm of finding stuff though. The more we fail, the more likely it is to succeed. Okay. And yep, we did that a long time ago. Oh, that's that far one, okay. One, two, three, four.
What the? I can't pin anything. Those last two are here. <laughs> hmm. Is that good? No. <laughs> what is my favorite minute of the day? Um, 7.52 p.m. Eastern Time. Because it's the current minute. So, it's the most enjoyable minute. Because it's the one I can think about the most. Boom. <laughs> How else do I answer? No idea. <laughs> this looks a little... Is that pointing all the way there? It could be. I don't have a good way of telling, though. All oh, right, right. Wait a second. It's like, is that pointing there, but I just can't see it well, you know? Or is it actually pointing to something new? That's a bit of a hmm one. You know, we're going to go to Storm and Arc. We checked a lot of them, but this is the best way. <laughs> also, hey, Judgment. It is going good. Mr. Kluton. That's my official title. Uh, if you look at my birth certificate, it says uh, Kluton is the last name. So, thank you for getting it right. Ooh. I'll say, have I played Undertale Deltarune? I love those games. Uh, I played my first two playthroughs of Undertale uh, off camera. Like, no more out than Pacifist, true ending. Uh, but I did do my genocide route on stream. That should be in my VODs channel. Just Croton VODs. Uh, I have some loose Twitch VODs from there and, like, the challenge runs. Also, yeah, I did play the first two chapters of Deltarune on my own. And that was very fun. I don't know, just... It is just, uh, well, one, they're very just diverse games, for sure. Um, in terms of what you're doing in them, it's a very fun take on an RPG by, like, you know, the combat's, like, more interactive, so I like that. Characters are really wacky. Um, even the storyline's just really fun, because it just has really lovable characters, and that's what makes the choices around them a lot more, uh, just, well, mind-altering, I guess. It really makes you feel those choices, you know? But the general gameplay and combat is also very fun, and it's a very good game. So. Let's see, wait a second, two caves. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right. We saw that one over there. Did we see two here? That's where I was looking before, right? Huh? Okay, yeah, we did. Here? I guess technically, right? Yeah, there was a cave thing. Okay. I'm like gradually like scanning the landscape in my head and... Just being thorough. As thorough as possible, you know? Okay, there's the one all the way back there, clearly. Yep. Okay, this... So there should be four just in that clump. Oh, I do need a stamina, which is fine. We have extras of the enduring type. So I'm like double checking a couple. Maybe a tad senselessly. Wait a second, two. This was the thing that we checked. Wait. Yeah, that's what I was getting suspicious of before, right? Wait, am, am I messing up the pins? Or is it that thing? Oh, it's that one, is it? Yep, it is, damn it. I was like, ooh, right on the edge there. Okay. Um, and that's the ruin. 
Forgotten runes? No, it's not. It's not. Okay. Yeah, let me freeze up a little bit. Also, thank you, Heather, for the eight months. Where did the time go? Just, yeah, the whole speed through, uh, tears being out and all that. Time at least felt very fast, so. That's okay. And then two, there were the crater ones. We also didn't explore this mountain yet? Like, at all. I doubt there's a well on there. But shouldn't I check anyways? <laughs> it doesn't feel very welly. Mm. Also, yeah, for those suggesting challenge runs, don't worry, we'll get to a lot. Uh, the main reason why I haven't done a run yet is because just time. They take a lot of time. Uh, I have a lot planned, so yes. For pretty much any theme run you can think of, you know, it's on the horizon at some point. It includes a zone I run, so. <laughs> I mean, my cave searching brain rot. Okay, um. So yeah, it seems good at least. I'm like checking through different angles and being thorough. Yeah, you have like some very odd ones like, oh, just in the middle there. Cool. Satori one we'll check last because I'm very confident that we got the Satori one. But also I'm trying to think like, because these things show all of them, but the Colton ones omit a few. But I believe Colton is omitting the desert type ones. So it's like, <laughs> but also could be jungle. You know what? Jungle, desert, Satori, central. That's the order I'm going in. Because I am I think more than likely I'll find in the jungle, but if not, desert, if not, Satori, if not, central. Um, but I, I'm i so certain. Like, I'm so, so certain that. Um, and by so, so certain, I mean, yeah. <laughs> We're going for it. I'm not talking myself in a circle here. We just... Do first, ask questions later. Start at the tower, easily perch onto the tree, get the lights. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> also, I have a little like tangerine guy now. He just sits on my desk. It's kind of Christmassy. He's he's silly. Um, I also have like a, a snowball. <laughs> His eyes are like half hidden, so. But he like sits on things. He has little legs, so he's cool. <laughs> These guys have just been like sitting at my desk, so just thought that was important to mention. I like my plushies. So. <laughs> jelly cat, you recognize? Yeah, the jelly cat ones are awesome. I have like a billion. Like, don't question it. They just sit on my PC, so yeah. <laughs> So did we get the Korok on that one? Yes, we did, of course. Um, and I believe that the Cherry Blossom was... Oh, that looked like a cave thing from there. I was confusion. Oh wait, no. I'm, I'm thinking about the Colton location. The Cherry Blossom is actually a lot more south. But that's by the stable, isn't it? Which is close. You know, it's about the same speed as doing this or just warping there. We have a good aerial advantage here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> In its odd little section of the world. Also, I don't introduce plushies without giving their names. Oh, my bad. Uh, this, this is Apple. This is Tangerine. And just guess, just guess what this one is. Snow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Y you can just, yeah, if, if it's a food one, I, I just name it the food. So, now if it's like Baby Floyd, well, that's Baby Floyd. So, yes, I have a bigger one that's called Floyd. Um, and this is Penny, the saddle piggy. I, I have a lot, and there's always like at least like eight of them by me at any time, so I love my plushies. 
I love killing these guys. You know what? Let's have some fun. Bombs. Oh, that just breaks down the barrier. It's open season. Okay. How do we make it close season? This might stumble a bit. Oh, that worked quite nicely. What's raining? Pulverize. Very nicely. See, get both. Oh, wait. Men are nice, but also. Yes. Uncoordination. Uh, wrong one. Don't throw my weapon. That is my one of my best weapons. Do you have ice powers still? You don't. Okay. We'll give you ice powers. One for you. Oop, bit of extra damage. Cool. Bye bye. Like I can wait. Meat, meat. Also, yeah, chest is more than likely not too fancy. Wow. <laughs> oh, right by the tree. Here, make an offering. You're the offering. Hmm. I, I just like this weapon. It has a little hook to it. Yeah. Perfect amount of hits to kill him on the jump. No, <laughs> but not perfect. To, uh. That's fun. How many of those do we have? 349. I sell almost all parts above 300. But we did that a couple streams ago and I have 12,000, which will be good for some more armor upgrades. We still need a lot more. I'm at least happy that there's things to buy in this game, like in the very late game. Because Breath of the Wild had a good currency system loop up, up until like late, late game. You're playing a while, then you just get infinite money and nothing to spend it on because the enemies drop gems. But yeah, this game is harder to get money, but you never run out of stuff to buy. And it's like the only Zelda game where that happens. Because there's always a certain point in every Zelda game, whether early game, mid game, or late. Uh, you just run out of things to spend your money on and just kind of sits there. But this game, truly, I'm 300 hours in and we need all this money for like our upgrades and stuff. So, yeah, at least makes it feel well-rounded. Okay. Um, so I could go tower route, but that's pretty high. How about we just go here and I'll, I'll hover bike? That, that's actually fine. So. Oh, yeah, steel plushie. Do I have. Me looking for my plushies. Not everyone's around currently. Yeah, we do have a sand, she sand seal from this game. Or Breath of the Wild. I like that guy. <laughs> bye bye. Oop. Not. Oh, wow, that's a little high up. Also, not this island just being extremely cool for no reason. Love the zone architecture. Not a lot of sky stuff, but these archipelagos are like some of the coolest areas. Visibility, not so much, but that's why we change it by getting out. Use the zone, it's fine. <laughs> Okay. I feel not as guilty about this. So that, yep. That was like a tunneling from Hylia to where the little tower was. Yep, okay. I think some of these overlap with the Nekluda stuff. It's gonna... Oh, right, my right. No! Ha. Huh. I forgot it did that stuff. That's a little annoying. To be fully honest. <laughs> okay, yeah, so some of them are a little overshot, but that's. Can't do much about that. Alright. Okay, so this, generally speaking, has one pin per thing. Yeah, because that green one is representing a past one. Wait, one. Two, three, four, and then there's another one too. Crazy. I know it's there at least. Okay, that's a odd hillside where I think there was a sh yeah shrine. 
It's like a puzzle where you had to throw a spear, like a wing spear or something. Okay, I that clump was done because we are pointing to it earlier, regardless. Now this one was Yeah, for the tower, I remember that. <laughs> Coming all the swirly. It's some of these odd jungle ones that I'm a little skeptical about. I think I remember three on this path. And I'm being re-remembered. Okay. Yep, there was a bunch of like loose ones alongside the path. And those are ones I didn't get for a while. Four. Or if I don't find it here, it's de desert is pretty likely as well. Like more so that outskirts of the desert. I think the desert itself is fine. Oh yeah, Great Plateau. I do remember those two. There's one like, yeah, some outside of it. It's weird, like Great Plateau's in this region instead of Central, like, some just cross over and it's like, oh, interesting. Hmm. What are you? Okay. That one was the weird like slit in the wall, I remember that one. No, you're, you're, yep, okay, that one. I remember. I'm very aware ish, not. Oh, there's the other pin. <laughs> Don't leave any behind. As I just leave one behind. Hmm. Okay, all seems good. Shrine. Yep, tower for the Sheikah stuff. We got the three in the path, the swirly, pla two plateau. There's a tunnel. I mean, the highly, uh... Um, I do want to check the coast because I feel like... No, they can't be that low. Okay, I think this region's fine. I just felt like there might have been an odd, like, path one, like there was previously. But, you know, I'm going to check the beach just in case. Because, again, it's probably at some odd angle. I didn't, like, fully do this with all of them before. So, I was just mainly using Colton for, like, the last dozen. Hey, flying around's fun. Yeah, I I was pretty half certain. Just uh, you know, it's like, okay. I'm good. Marvelous. Oh, quark puzzle. At least looking at stuff, you get a nice bird's eye view. So almost everything we've been doing a little something extra. Mainly caves and walls of the stream, but hey. Find those little surprises. Okay, what are you looking like? So it's, oh, it's hole on the other side. Gotcha. So we're just forming a brick, looks like. And I feel like I'm going to suck at this one. No, I'm not. Wait, yes, I am. Oh. This one disagrees with me. Oh, wait, no. That's got to go in the thingy, and that's got to go in that. Okay. There's <laughs> a lot happening, so I was like, Ugh. Good. Oh. You know, let's like kill these two shock whistles. Yeah, I need the sword pins or materials I need. And we still need quite a few of these lizzle tails for uh I think upgrading the rubber side. Because we finished the ones for the Yiga side, I believe. Nope, you're not <laughs> you're not doing that silly stuff. Wait! Invincible. Uh oh we have turn out Thunder Helm. <gasps> Tail! Okay. I think we need like a dozen more ish in that ballpark. But I don't fully remember. Oh well. That's good. We literally did a stream a few streams ago just uh, doing all that stuff. Like we just went on like a lizard killing binge, got like 201 stream. Uh, we got pretty much all the required ones for sh uh, fire and ice tails for armor upgrades and a lot for shock. 
Yeah, considering shock ones are the least common. Well, you could say shock or fire, but still. Um, not only are they not everywhere, uh, they also are required for like two different armor sets. So you need them for uh, like the rubber set and the Yiga set. So it's not nice, you know? Okay, now this is a good view. <laughs> See, literally, even when they're doing Peaks Caves. Is on there. Like, why that? <laughs> so it looks good. In some ways, it's hard to see the flashes from here, but I see them all. Mental check list wise. Yep. Is that the one with the. Okay, we don't. Okay. Can't hurt to double check. Everything looks fine. At least I'm memorizing the locations more for like subsequent playthroughs. Challenge runs so I know where stuff is and like understanding this world compared to the original. So anyways, uh, I know with my heart where this one is. So three more to check. Here. Mm. Then we'll do Satori, then we'll do Central. But yeah, you know what? Um, I think that it's possible that just Colton doesn't tell you about the caves and regional phenomena or just like the ones near like the path around it because yeah this stream uh we found the one right next to the Zora tower um and then a couple streams ago it was the Rito village one it's technically like the first cave on that pathway up we just didn't see the very first one where there's like a quest involved There's a carrot. There's always a carrot around. Good place to always make sure to stop by and get them. Now we just have a surplus, but you know what? Bound to happen. Weird. Wait. Did I put pepper? I put tomatoes in, right? I'm, I'm not being a... Did I just put peppers in and expect it to work? I just saw a red thing. I, I think I just... I think I just... No, I didn't put tomatoes in. Okay. <laughs> the game is gaslight. Who knows? Uh... <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> For whatever reason, I always struck you as living in Wisconsin. No idea why. Well, <laughs> I mean, I did for pretty much all my life. So, you know what? Very fair. I guess I give off a lot of Wisconsin energy. Um, yeah. I live in Pennsylvania now, but uh, yeah. That part of me will always still hold true. Also, yeah. Um... I should go back to the tower to find stuff. I'm fine with taking elemental chip damage because I'm just swapping my armors a lot and it's like whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> Link can suck it up. You know, I'm not even gonna do the tower thing. We're just, all right, I'm gonna do the tower thing. You know what? Cause we're gonna make it nighttime to make this more visible. Uh, it should be very then. Um, and it'll be fine. <laughs> What sword do I have? This is, oh, I just like my hammer. Um, see, I really like the hammer on this weapon, but a lot of the attachments cover it up. It'll just like swap the handle for something else. But I like the attachments where uh, it still looks like the whole weapon, but it's just that on top. Specifically for this one. Cause like, yeah, if you put like the Lionel Maze form, which is a hammer type, uh, it covers up like the entire weapon, but the handle. So it just looks like any other Maze sword weapon. But this one or the hearts look unique at least. Okay. See, so yeah, a desert is totally fine. Um, yep, one, two, three. Yep, 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 yep. 
I'm not even sure why I'm bothering with that. I am very certain about it. Okay, we got those two. Yeah, some of these I can just, I know what they are, because even doing that Gerudo run, I really memorized, like, everything. I'm like, I, I'm not even checking, because I know, like, I remember what each of these caves are. Like, by heart. <laughs> like, oh, yep, yeah, that's a cave through, that's a cave through. Okay, I remember these little caves. This, oh, yeah, that's the, what leads to the water area. Um, these ones, though, there is three caves at the start, right? I know those ones less, but yeah. So... Three loose caves at the start. That's the tunnel all the way through. That's like a tunnel that leads upwards. Uh, Yiga cave, Talos cave, Minecraft cave, Minecraft cave exit. Um, say Minecraft cave because it's just all blocky. Either Minecraft or like 2010 Roblox game cave. I don't know. Blocky 3D game. That's what it is. Okay, so that was really it, wasn't it? Also, didn't I say I was going to do nighttime and then totally forgot? I did. Um, but that's not going to change the outcome. The outcome is that, yeah, we're still in the same boat. Very much so. And you know what? That's, that's fine. I think Satori Mountain's good for the Highlands area, but I know that area is fine. Also, hey, hey Farosh. I, uh... Wait, don't I need Farosh parts? Yeah, I still need the horn from it. So, you know what? Good. Every trip we make, we're getting something new that's good. Um, yeah, I recognize just all these caves, so it's like... We're fine. Quicksand. Like... Yeah. That's not a special one, is it? Okay, <laughs> that, that was the second guess that went against what I was just saying. We do that, and I think we can catch stamina, right, by riding? Is that still a thing? I don't remember. What, wasn't it a thing in Breath of the Wild to get stamina by riding the wind here? Also, those too close. Okay, some respawn. Okay. Awesome. We have the two we need. I think just one more of Dinrel. It's for some set. I don't remember what it was, but I remember it was. Uh, my moblins can just hear random things. <laughs> See, because dropping is usually pretty quiet for most enemies. The moblins are. got those wacky ears. Oh, just one part. Flame. Okay, so that should be fine holistically. Unless there was a cave here. Yeah. If I were to see someone else for a cave, it would be right there. Because that was totally out of the thing. Also, do I play Fortnite? Actually, recently, yeah. Um, I used to play back in like 2017, 18. Uh, back when it was really just starting to kick off. Um, but then didn't for a while. I think I played a little bit in chapter three with some friends. Uh, and then yeah, with this new chapter, uh, they have like the Lego Fortnite now, which is like a Minecraft thing. I play it with my girlfriend a lot. Uh, so that's really fun. Even the battle royale, like I like Fortnite because it has very unique and interesting mechanics. Uh, not a lot of shooter games like innovate. They're just all the same thing. But Fortnite actually has very innovative mechanics, which is like cool. You don't see that in the industry with, uh, you know, shooter type games, but I guess it really stretched beyond that now, because, like, obviously, yeah, there's, like, the Battle Royale stuff, but, you know, you can drive cars, you can go fishing in that. Like, it just, it feels fun to play because it's so diverse to what it, you know, started from. So I like stuff like that. I give a lot of credit to it, and I always have. Now, I don't play it a lot because I just don't play a lot of multiplayer games, but, it's like, if I do play a multiplayer game, right now it's sad. So, yeah. Honestly, it is really fun. But yeah, it does not look like we have a, uh, a gust of light. So now it's up to Satori region and um, Central.
Happy we're still getting parts in between. Also, yeah, by me skimming the coast, I'm like looking for a well as well. That's the only way to do it. There's no no help with that. It just, oh well, we found it, or oh well, we didn't. So, what's it gonna be? Okay, Satori Mountain, this one's obvious. Just go, whoa, Satori Mountain, there we go. And we can get some apples too, so that works. <laughs> so they play the Lego thing. It's fun. It's it's fun with people. Uh, the Lego, f it's called Lego Fortnite, but it's basically just a survival game. Um, it's more closer to Minecraft. It's only Fortnite because of a couple like naming references, but Fortnite's basically become more of like a platform now because there's like the base game, but there's like uh, games within it. There's like a racing game. There's uh, you know, the Lego thing. It's it's actually really fun. Like I, you know, I can't tolerate most multiplayer games, but there's a lot of enjoyable and redeemable stuff in that, so. But yeah. Better than a lot of other stuff. Growing up, I used to play a lot of Overwatch, too. Or, Overwatch, as well. Uh, not Overwatch 2. But, um, obviously, yeah, just a lot of bad things with the company and the game going downhill. Uh, so once in a blue moon, I'll play it, but it really just kind of fell off in a bad way, so. Also, Minecraft's also kind of there, you know, like once in a even bluer moon. But, yeah, always a fun game. Hmm. Also, I like apples. 762, we already got like 100. And this is the best way. Like, the Blizzard Rod method still is very good. It's the best way for Breath of the Wild, especially. But, we're not using any resources. Like, <laughs> I was almost able to not get that golden apple, though, but then the tree hit it for me, so. Bait checks out. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah, speaking of Legos, I do love Legos. Uh, if you, I guess, have been following things for a while, uh, I post some of my stuff in like the Discord server, um, but I do have like a few of the cool like uh, modular like building sets. It's like the ones that resemble cities, like not Lego City, but it's like uh, the one that has like a square base plate and it'll be like a three-story building. And you can like take it apart. Um, I have one of like a diner and a, like a restaurant and some other stuff. But Legos are fun. It's like one of the only decorations I have in my house, like. Some like nerdy stuff, some Legos, cause I don't know, they look cool and yeah. You made a Hestu and Korok Lego set? It's cool, but it's off brand. I mean, that's awesome. Like, you know, not many people, despite being the point, like make stuff and unique stuff out of Lego, you know? It's like the sets are cool, but not many people make their own things with them. And so stuff like that is cool. It's like we're, I almost said we're never getting Zelda Legos, which we might, but in the meantime, like people making their own Zelda Lego stuff is awesome. So I know like that fan made like Breath of the Wild Lego castle, really cool. So also have I experienced stepping on a Lego brick? Um, well, I have not because I'm still a Lego fan because if I do have to step on a Lego brick, then I will never be a Lego fan again. Um, just judging by the stereotypes. Not really. Uh, I probably have one when I was a kid, but it is for no reason the most painful thing. So we're avoiding it. Okay. So this one should be more brief. I. I'm pretty sure it's the smallest in terms of what it all shows off. But I think it shows the Highlands, because I don't know what other region does. All right, speaking... Sorry, one more thing about LEGO. Uh, did announce LEGO Animal Crossing, so... Now it's not just Mario, it is Mario and Animal Crossing. So that's coming, I think, this upcoming year. So... 
you know, the chances for our, I feel like Zelda would have to be next. Like, it, it could do well, you know. Which I don't see why not at all. Okay. So, I know we're closing in on the final caves here, but frankly, I don't know, you know, where else it could be. And this is also going off the assumption that all of them are, do have light pins or whatever. So what if it doesn't? Because like, yeah, Colton doesn't have a few ones. We're not getting the star fragment because that block spawns. Um, yeah, I got the one in that valley. <laughs> Easy one to mess. Uh, are those like... I think there's like three different trees that point to those. Coliseum Ruins. Uh, yeah. Coliseum Ruins. Okay, we... Yeah, I'm really just taking off... We're going, I recognize all of them. That's the Ancient Tree Stump, and that's the one with the Dust Claymore Riddle uh, in the Coliseum. Okay. Yeah, this is really the smallest region, and... You know, the only thing I can do is... I could see if there's Highland ones, but I'm pretty sure about the Highlands being good. Check that at the very end. Because, yeah. I know the central region just has a lot, so it's... Could I have missed one there? I definitely could have. But first, let's go Highlands Tower. Highlands Tower, then if not, central region, which is... Uh, yeah, it's like... To the east of Lookout Landing is the cherry tree. So we'll do that. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Heal at the end. See, it's nice to have the movement of this set. I'm surprised by the lack of content in this region. Highlands have always been kind of like that, but I feel like they're slightly different vibe. Like, there's, I think, a bit more enemy camps themselves in the Breath of the Wild. I don't know, they're just moved around. I don't know. <laughs> Me really trying to compare and contr contrast. For Heber specifically, it's a lot less enemy focused in those dense camps. It's more so through, like, the weaving caves and the spaciousness. But the Breath of the Wild version had all the big, you know, late game camps. But now Hebra is an earlier game area, so it's interesting how they change the balancing for certain things. What's that one? Yep, okay, that's that one. Never mind. I'll see him. I was more so just to look at these, and I see nothing. There's the heroin one, there's the. That one? Yeah, the one with the shock symbol, and then the one for the tower that is required. Okay. There's like nothing missing. So, central it is, because I never was too thorough about this. Only one way to do it. Ooh. Spike shields. I was nearing that three quarters mark for the Koroks. Wasn't even the objectives, but we got a, quite a few today. That's like every stream, we're getting side things and all that. But the cave is too crucial, and it's gotta be here. Don't fool me, you're not a cave. <laughs> can we get a star fragment? I don't know. Some spots you can't. But usually you're allowed one point, so... Crap, it's like one of those things, it's like, if I don't see it tonight, then, uh, or I'll just go. Just look at the world. <laughs> this is like the highest point, that island. So that's why I put my medallion up there. And Mr. Cherry Tree should be about here. Or was it closer to the water? I don't remember. Oh, 
we're gonna keep going this way because I have a good feeling about it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Archipelago. What archipelago? That doesn't look like much of an archipelago to me. <laughs> like, peep, peep. Didn't even bother visiting me. Get a little more, yeah. Overall distance speed. Alright. Drop it in. Oh my god. <laughs> it was gonna be exactly close, but. Yay. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna go back to that one, because you know what? That would be nice. But it's the last one, so we're gonna see. <laughs> we still see the old ones, which I think will fade in a moment. Yep, there they are. So I see Royal Hidden Passage. What in the distance? Wyoming Archipelago. <laughs> well, why is this Wyoming? Sorry, I don't understand Wyoming energy. You know what? We're gonna go um, that. I'm gonna make it nighttime actually this time because I need, I don't know, be helpful. Other ones are fine actually. <laughs> nighttime. And then we're gonna go back to that top one because it literally sees the whole world. Wyoming is empty, the archipelago is empty. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I didn't even think about that. But, yeah. So Wyoming's the empty one. Ohio's a chaotic one. Um, or morbid, or whatever. <laughs> Ohio's the Ohio one. What would that one be? Leave that for you to decide. Um... Okay, yep, we, we see Coliseum Ruins again. That is the edge of the plateau one. Bada bing, bop, bop. We got that. Um, this is a really nice bird's eye view, too. Okay. There was like a tunnel through. Yeah, you don't see the Kakariko ones, but you see the tunnel through Kakariko here, which is wild. Okay, yeah, I recognize that. I, I won't list them all out if I just get it right away. Three over there. Let me see. <laughs> hmm. Okay, yeah. Barbarian one. I don't quite remember those. Oh, yeah. Colton. Uh... It'll be to the left of that, but let's see. Oh, the Yiga base. Okay, gotcha. Remember that. Good times. Also, hello, No Man's Lands. It's the old app. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I swear to God, like half of the trees point to this cave system. Just really wants you to see it all the time. Wait, why does it look like. Wait, what? Why is it pinning there? I thought it was always pinning to that. Huh? Uh, just give it a mo- Wait. <laughs> this has got me a little Eyebrow raising. No, I got that. Yeah, one right there and one right there, right? There. 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 You know, like, half of them have been pointing to this, and I kept assuming it was the one that was on the hill right there. How are we doing this wrong? 
It's not. It's not those, right? Not the, I recognize. Do I recognize that one? So I still have to like check really quick. I put all of them on there. Yeah, literally all six. <laughs> yep. Okay, that was the one across the bridge. You have Kakariko, blah, blah, blah. We saw it a bunch. I, I don't see any new ones. Huh? There's no way that can be it. Okay, I recognize that stuff. I'm not even going to stop to smell the dead roses. There's no way that's a cape. I'm just... Oh my god. That if... Just because of the angles, you know how like, you can't pin the exact start of a cave? I thought I was talking about the one up the cliff with like the gloom hands in it. You can't tell me that's actually it. Is that a water entrance, maybe? Wait, what are, we, what are we looking at exactly? An exit? I'm looking at the water. Is that something? I don't know. Oh, a hole! A hole! Make it right through. Whoop! North. Oh, there was a, uh, okay. It's the same cave system. We found it. How did I not see this? Oh, I just ascended it up. So you can ascend up or, oh, well, that wasn't quite the outcome. Also, what's the river flowing from? I mean, it still is a, yeah, hundred percent. You know, we need the points, whatever. Like it's raining apparently, which I don't see any rain. Is this a new entrance of that though? I don't actually remember what was in here. It's been so long. Okay, I vaguely do. There was like armor in here. Oh, <laughs> that's the way you found this first cave? Oh, well, looking for the tear. That it does make sense because it's like bird's eye view. Oh, but if the Zora armor does that. That's cool, it's like designed for that, but when you're here, you likely don't have the Zora armor yet. Because you're probably just starting, you know? Okay, well, that's nice, because it's stuff for 100% that we need to get, and I probably w wouldn't have done that, but... I'm a bit stuck. in that line? Is it just that cave it is? Um. Well, I checked every single one. See, the thing is, it's possible that it just doesn't appear on the lights. Um, I found all caves in the game naturally. Except for... Uh, two. That Rita one I did look up, and then one, because I, I just need the armor piece. Uh... Because it's possible it just does not appear on the lights at all. Because that's how the Colton ones are too, where he helps you. Not all of them appear. Also, what about putting bull forks on the scanner? It's probably going to be harder because I would have to literally comb every inch of the world then. Like, wells are already going to be that. And I'm out of theories on where the wells could be, if I'm going to be fully honest. So you know what? I want to see what the most commonly missed caves are in the game. There was like a, a Reddit post that I saw. We saw it on stream a couple streams ago where it's someone said a couple and sure enough, the Rita one was one of those because Colton doesn't talk about it. Um, but I'm going to pull it up on screen. Commonly. One second. Typing in right now and... Mm. Let's pull. Let's pull this up a little bit. One second. 
Does that work? There we go. Okay. Um, commonly missed cave. Yep. Some people are Cockrego Village one. I got that one. Um, okay. Some people are saying the Zora ones. Yeah. See, you know what? Did them. Okay. Painstakingly checked every light beam. Uh, gave in, looked at a guide. Yeah, that's what we did. It's just another entrance to the cave already finished. Yep. Which we found those. Good for 100%. Um, yeah. Colton won't tell them. Yeah. It's, it's not a limit. That just was an assumption. It's just some of them are out of his range of telling. So that's why I'm convinced that this might have a similar logic. Because you know how it was range based? Um, I genuinely think that maybe a couple of the caves might be out of the range for the light beams. Okay, back up a second. Hmm. Lake Intra Cave. Uh, hmm. Lake Interrock Cave. <laughs> this is a fine way. If they're not going to be on the thing, because he genuinely may not be. Lake Ferona, Lake Interrock. Okay, yeah, we did get that one. Kind of a hidden one. Hmm. Sorry, this is... There was another thread like that that actually gave a couple that was, like, helpful. Hmm. One second. Someone said Fort Hateno Cave. Fort... What do I not remember Fort Hateno Cave? Oh, right there. Yeah, it's a easy one. It's like, this is my last resort without just looking at a map, because honestly, yeah. What are we missing here? <laughs> Damn, I don't know. Well, I think we found all the extra entrances, which is nice. Yeah, someone's like, can't find the last bubble frog. Um, southeast of Grudo Town. Hmm. Oh, Great Sky Island is a good point. It's possible we didn't pick up the bubble gem. No, okay. Well, we're going to look at the thing. <laughs> Sorry. This is a little, uh... <laughs> Roblox do happen. Okay. Again, this the object map is in the description. It's what I'm using. Because I need to see. It could not even be on here. So if I look at all the locations, we have, like, the Ranch Ruin stuff. We have, uh... Whistling Hill Cave. Yeah, there was, like, an armor piece in there. Um... Kind of like a trip down memory lane, if anything. I'm looking at all of them. Do I recognize Kuko Hideaway? Yeah, the Cockrego Village cave very hidden. There's these passageways. Um, yeah, that's a new one we got today. Up in Upper Zor Upland Zorana Summit Cave. Yeah, but I remember all that stuff. Pristine Sanctum. Horn Lagoon. Yeah, that was one of the recent ones we got. The Grottos, for sure. Sorry, this is the only way I can do it now. We checked everything. And I'm happy with the stuff we got along the way. You know what? That's never a bad thing. But I recognize all this stuff. Remember, there's only like 140. We just checked through half already. That was a path through each other. That was a little Horblin base. Got all that. That was dense. Hill through that. Shrine. Yep. Three right there. I remember talking about that. A little slick cave up there. The two there. The path through there. One, two, three. The path. The path. The two loose ones. That. Minecraft cave. Hole. Wow. <laughs> uh, 
Ancient Prison, Nat, Quicksand. Yeah. Like, that is all very... Yep. The ancient Helm or whatever was in there. We saw the Highlands. Saw the Edged One. <laughs> okay. What's that? Oh, we did get that one. Never mind. <laughs> Again. Good. And then those ones I was confusing us for a bit. Yep, that's the one in the can. We got the East Cave, right? Um, We sure did. Okay. Yeah, I think there's some like Zonia Ruin stuff in there. Kind of cool. That. It's like if we didn't get one, it might have been Hebra just in a blind spot. But, yeah, judging it with our current thing, we have all three of those. Um, that. There's like four. Sorry, I'm like... <laughs> it's the only way. It's going to be the last place to look on the object map, too, isn't it? Okay, there's Yiga Base, there's Rauru Hillside, Pico Pond. I remember seeing that whole way through. That was an enemy base. Ranch Ruins. Yep, Royal Hidden Passage. Green Belt Cave, yeah. We didn't just like forget a bubble frog somewhere, did we? Coliseum Ruins, Whistling Hill. No, we, we did all of this. I recognize every single one. <laughs> Man, this is fun. In an interesting way, you know? Malpla points, one second. Or you know what? You know, the assumption is that I didn't have them all done. Am I positive on that? Like, here, I'm looking at, like, the cave symbols. Okay, we, did we go to a cave and not pick up the bubble frog? We did that in the past, but we, I looked at these symbols a billion times, and I see a check mark on every single one. Every single one. There's not a single one without a check mark. Not a single, single cave. Not even the hidden ones. They're all cleaned out. All cleaned out. Yes, they are. <laughs> you know what? I have to talk to Colton. But he's got to have some tips for me. Some little little advice. Um, it should be nice. Here. He should be right here. Hmm. It's literally, where's Waldo? What caves? <laughs> yeah, the struggle of looking for something on the object map. Uh, and then, in my game, it is real. The worst is, yeah, just even Koroks. But I do that one off stream because, ooh, no way. <laughs> I have to check everything and click them off one by one. In my two Breath of the Wall 100%, I spent like at least an hour or two, if not more, like off stream, just trying to figure out where the last ones were. So we would end the stream with the right amount. Oh, see, I'm marking things. I forgot how to do it on the object map. Uh, I just use like the draw tool to click off stuff sometimes, but it depends. Oh, man. Yeah, even the well, it's like, I'm happy we've checked a lot of hypotheses for where the wells are and I'm happy we got one. But, uh, man. It's like, do I just wanna Get it over with, I guess, and just search it. Yeah, since one bubble frog. Where could it be? <laughs> this is all we need, and I am just struggling. Okay, the elf check marks, right? I'm not going crazy. I've looked at it a billion times. This can't be worse than the Addison thing. We just kept going, and we didn't know how many we had left. At least this way we can check how many we have left. Okay. Yeah, I see all check marks, and it is nice. 
So, um, look at the last couple. Okay. Using extreme brain power, like pulling into the last 110% of brain power. Um, I, I have everything. Like I really do. We have that stuff. We have that stuff. We have the triple, even just like the duplicate ones. You know what? It's nice that I got those now because I didn't have those two, which is like cool. So I can feel good about that, you know? Um, Lake Verona. Sorry, I can't. I can only have one map up at a time. So. But I can promise everything I'm like looking at where my cursor is, it's all checked off. It's all good, you know? That's. That's complete. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Boop, 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 I'll stop with the hold music. Um, interesting, there's like a Terrytown one. I'm like, oh yeah, kind of the side there. I'm checking almost everything. See, I'm kind of flip-flopping. Um, even here, it's like there's three right there, and that's kind of cool, but... Here there's three. There's the Eventide one, clearly. Um, there is... Yeah, the jungle's got everything. That's got everything. I'm overlooking one spot, both on this map and both when I was looking at them earlier. Okay, we got all the wells that were in those odd areas, which is cool. Kind of neat. It's the only way. This will be the last thing that... We need to accomplish here, and I, I know we can. One second. Um, we got those wells too. Okay, yeah, that area has to be fine. It's like, what area am I overlooking? It must be like when I'm scanning, I'm missing one, and it feels weird that I am. But it's like, yeah, I'm also looking at the map to see, make sure the check marks again, which we have them. I know we do. All these weird desert ones are totally fine. Inadvertently looking for wells, but no, no dice. Okay. <laughs> we're making it work. I, we're this close. Every second I look is like... <sighs> oh, man. I found it. Oh my god. It was... No. No. Tent. Tent at peak. Tent. Oh my god. It was in Hebra? You're joking me. There was so much happening right there. <sighs> well, I don't feel as bad because I was near... We checked so many places before that, so I wasn't going to find it regardless. Yeah, Sky Island Caves, luckily, that's fine. It's pretty easy to get everything, because we did 100% the Sky. Oh my god, don't even tell me, this is... Well, that means we used the guide for a total of 3 out of the 140-something caves. Okay, so you go up there. Is there a quest attached to it? You said to go to the end of the cliff? There's literally a quest attached to it, too. Came all this way to scorch for mushrooms, and now this. That's how the other Rito one was. So yeah, the ones we used Guide for were two of these Rito ones. Uh, I didn't even know that we missed that. Which I guess makes sense as our first regional area. I wasn't aware of the cave quantity. Is it where I confused it for the light? Uh, no, that's a different one. I, I don't even remember. Chill shrooms. Okay. Yeah, we can help out Ritos. Okay. Bring back even more chill shrooms than last time. Oh, you just need to give them... Okay. As if you didn't have that already. That's tons of trouble out of my stash of, like, ten times more. Okay. Um, 
So thank you for telling me what's in here. <laughs> when you can just buy out the quest. Talano Peak Cave. This is the final cave? It's so close to the other ones. I was not expecting that. And I guess this is where you learn the ice strats. Water be sparkly. Yeah. Yeah, a little deeper. Yeah. A tad deeper. Yeah. I think it's just like not long enough. <laughs> there were frost spear. We're gonna do a little silly right here. This is the final cave I've yet to ever explore. This is stupid as hell. That's why it's gonna work. <gasps> it did something. It got the long. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> it kind of did, didn't it? In its own silly way. Uh oh. Oh, they're melting because of my fire weapon. <laughs> oh, it's freezing water. Yep, yep, yep. I gotcha. That is something. Sorry for the long wait on finding that, but... Oh, wow, it's a big chill shroom. Nice. There's another mushroom cave in here, too, so... You know what? That is the final little cave. A lot of variation in them. I really like those huge ones, but... Little ones that complement the landscape is nice, too. Amber, amber... Let's see how close to max we get. But of course, it's not over yet. It's funny, the cave, the other cave is above us. And we still need to get Mr. Bubble Frog. Where can you be? I think that will just lead us into the other cave. Hmm. Yeah, this is not... Nope, okay, that leads there. We got it, Link. <laughs> it's long. Yeah, it's it's so weird. It's called Tolano Peak Cave, and it takes you there. But the close the cave that's closer to Tolano Peak is not called Tolano Peak Cave. Yeah, and that's a big reason why it's easy to miss, because Okay. That's the cave that we missed before, but uh, when going up here for the regional stuff, you enter through that cave and leave through there. So you're probably not thinking about going down again. You're probably thinking about going forward. And that's exactly what I thought. So. Kind of want to go out of your way to get these caves. Which is fine. You know. It's about moving. That's fine. I'm not putting on healing stuff because I'm just going to use a hardy potion after this. After we leave. Okay, I still need Mr. Bubble Frog, though. I'm sure they hit him in a tactful place. Did they not? They did, definitely. That's fine. A reward is being warm. So, let's finish it before we die. Incentive. It could be an ascend thing, because, like, it wants you to do the platform just like that last cave. I couldn't tell ya. Oh, up the icicles are kind of blocking that off. That's a crafty one. I like the little secrets. And the final bubble frog. And just like that, seen all 100. It's 147 caves, right? All bubble frogs, and there we go. I found all the bubble gems. Should meet with Colton. Woohoo! Okay. Where are we meeting, Colton? Uh, on this monstrous night. Well, not this monstrous night. It's not night anymore. Wow. Nighttime. Oh, this is it. Wait, I'm looking at the. Com I literally have it in the description, and I kind of forgot to. Yeah, 147. Okay, that's how many caves there are.
right in the center. Feels fitting, right? Start from the highest point in the world. Did a lot of searching. And out of the 147, we found 144 organically. So just using a guide for three caves, considering how hard they are to get, that's pretty fair. Um, see, we still have one more well left, but I used zero guide for the wells. So part of me just wants to wait and find out organically. I'll just keep my thing on well sensor. And by the end of the playthrough, if we don't find the well, then I'll use a guide in case it's somewhere I never need to revisit, which is super low chance. But, you know, I think it could be fun to just actually try to find the well organically. But even this, hey, I still have to put in resources, mental resources to find it. Oh, that's all part of the gig. <laughs> we did it. And yeah, I don't know what the reward is. So I'm very happy. It's been a pleasure. Sure has. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, sticking around on the stream. It was still very fun checking out everything. Uh, sorry if the end bit. I was just... I had to take a couple minutes to search for that uh, cave, but... I'm happy it's found. Because for a big milestone, you know what? I think that's awesome. Like, in terms of the main side objectives, obviously the biggest one shrines, but second place has got to be the, the caves. So, here, Link, you deserve the best, man. Like, here you go. Have a sippy juice and a... And you know what? Not that it matters at all, but I gotta see his facial expressions in the most. So that stays on. Just tears link with the hood. Good evening, traveler. <laughs> Since the presence of zero bubble frogs have all 101. Couldn't it be a perfect 100. I collected each and every bubble gem. Here you go. <laughs> Minus 100. Did you see that? The count just like slid. I don't think you're meant to give that quantity at once, were you? Not that it matters, but. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, you are, because you you can only do that. Why did it slide like that? That was weird. Wait. For those who missed it, only because I've never seen a UI bug like that. It's so minor, but. Look at that count. It's like, eh, eh. Okay, because it went with, but still, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, had to point out the semi-obvious. Down the hatch. You just ate one. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like a little light bulb. Something's happening. Uh, I'm finally <laughs> turning into a Satori. Don't have any treasure left to give you. Please accept this item I made myself. Okay, it is a fa- A bloopy fabric. Ooh. I, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be a fabric, but I didn't know. So for the longest time, I thought I got all the fabrics in the game, but I, it was contingent on this. Show us the kilt and give him my best. Thank you for joining. Let me get this far. No matter the outcome, I have no regrets. Somewhere and in some form. The mo monster man. Oh my god. <laughs> Colton jump scare. Bloopy? What? He became a bloopy. Are bubble gem sings that turn creatures into bloopies? Also, will this just stay here? <laughs> what? Okay, sorry, that's uh I mean he kept talking about being a Satori, but yeah, Bloopy's type of Satori, obviously. Uh Lord of the Mountain just the main one. But yeah, you know, something about them being in caves and they I don't know. It's like kinda like the renewal of it if they give bubble gems and Eat the bubble gems, you become the bloopy, and I don't know. There's like a weird kind of thing with that. I don't know. Bloopies, Satori, nature, wildlife, but also money. I, I can't really 
discern like the theme of like the bloopies and what they're supposed to be. Because like in Breath of the Wild, I assume like okay, like protectors of the forest kind of thing. Like they appear in like wild areas and lower the mountain and spawns animals around it. Uh, but in this game, it's very contingent on caves too and bubble frogs. It's like I don't know. Like caves are like where life sprouts, I guess. Who knows? I'm making up reason for it, but usually there is something. You know, like depths is supposed to be like a mirror world. And that's why stuff on the tops reflect on the surface, like an over and underworld. I don't know. Like it's like what is like the theme of the bloopies? There's a lot of things. Life, money. Die these clothes. Or not die. Work paraglider. So Okay, unless there's some other fabric, I think this is all the fabrics in the game. Hope it's gonna be like in some spot. That I'm not sure of. I'm surprised this was not spoiled for me. Colton's. Oh. Yeah, I, I can't tell if it's a glow in the dark one. Let's see like a bloopy glider. Where's the Tory armor with it? I will. Oh, uh, mine's not. Mine's dyed red though, so it may not give the full look. Because I did not know there would be a glider. Ooh, it is glowy. Okay. I mean, that only makes sense. Ooh. Well, now I think we have all the gliders in the game. I doubt there's a well glider, you know? Um, that is not the outfit. What am I? <laughs> Just habit. We've been wearing it like most of today. Think, 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 Mark. Uh, different color, but the pattern palette lines up well. So yeah, the, having this glider would be a good reason to have the default color again. But this outfit's for style, and it's like, wow. <laughs> Fire bloopy god guy. That's... Yeah, I really dig that. You know what? And it, it's one of those like neutral ones, too, where it just goes with a lot of things. Yeah, <laughs> nice and glowy. Yeah, pure colors, lights with a bit of blue hue. Okay, let's talk to Colton or Kilton. Uh, you know, cause it's funny, Kilton and uh, what's his name? Hang out, Hudson. But they both have like a friend or something that has like a major quest. Like for this, uh, well, Kilton has Colton. Hudson has Addison, and it's funny because they talk together, and those are like two side objectives in this game. So I never really thought about it that way. Because yeah, Kilton has Colton, who has the cave stuff. Hudson has Addison, who has the science stuff. Which yeah, that stuff we finished a few streams ago. The hello house. We have to say hi to the house. Hello. <laughs> Could have taken a nap for the hearts, but. Yeah. We'll make a new house and a new playthrough. But for this one, this is the house, you know? I don't like to renovate old memories, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, but the the weapons that we retired. The frozen meat club, nothing there. And then this was best stealth strike weapon in the game. And that, we can repair it, but it'll reroll the modifier, but it's almost broken, I can say that. Yeah. Eightfold Blade, Lionel Saber, and specifically Attack Up 10, you can't get a better, like, stealth weapon than that, so. If we roll the modifier, we'll change it. I don't really need the stealth anymore. I did so much stealth already, it's like, I prefer to use other strategies now. So. But for that mid-game where it's really important taking on the big ones, stealth is good. So yeah, retirement's doing well for these guys. Also, why did I pick up the club again? <laughs> Hello. Just to show it some love, you know? It's like, you're still in my heart. Or in my house. That one's just silly. Okay. And it stays there. A nice view. Let's talk to our friend. Stuff we don't need anymore. And yeah, well, we can find organically. Now it just, uh, wow. It feels wild to have all that stuff kind of closured off, because as I was saying, yeah, in terms of the big side objectives, if I were to rank them, 
Obviously, shrines like the most important. Then caves just right under that. Um, in terms of having unique content every time. And then much below, I'll probably say Addison signs, then Medals of Honor. So, for those main 100% collectibles. Oops, wait, what, what do you say? Uh, uh, can't believe it. That's what became of Colton? Hmm, thank you kindly for letting me know. And result was sure. He's very happy. It's what he wanted. I'll take the stall my little brother left behind. That'll be nice. Please make good use of it. It's what he would have wanted. Okay. He said he'll take the place, but won't he always be here still? It's a well sensor. Do we... When did I turn off the well sensor? Huh. <laughs> okay, that was recent, wasn't it? I don't... I don't remember turning that off. Oh, well, I didn't really see anything new. We're fine. <laughs> okay. So will there be any more interesting interactions or... Because, yeah, Colton will normally be over there. Let me save him reload because sometimes that needs to be. Um, but yeah, it's like, hmm. <laughs> that is all caves, fun the last two today. Also fun to well, but again, I think it'd be nice to find that one just stumbling across it because that's how we found all the others. He said he took Colton's place, but I don't see a Colton thing up there, you know? Go to Satori. Wait, is there actually something or are we just... Bloopy Burrow? Bloopy Den? What was Bloopy Den again? Will there actually be something here? The Story Mountain Cave was the bloopy one, right? Hmm. <laughs> Satori Mountain, okay. Like, should I go to the top or in the cave? Because we, we already did a lot of uh, <laughs> meandering trying to find stuff, so... That closure will be nice. Um, so I'm checking the top first on the cave. I think so. Okay. Because, yeah, again, something I probably wouldn't have done without thinking about it. Well, I mean, I can check inside first because that leads to the top anyways. So, you know what? There's also a bloopy burrow, but I don't know if that's anything. <laughs> Are you Colton? I'm following you. Wait, come back, little guy. You seem to have led me here. That's the right thing, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I think we're supposed to follow it, which we did. It's been a while since I've been here. Man, do I love these caves. Okay. I do remember like some odd platform or something, so is is that what this is? I don't know. Kind of cool there's like different ledges and you gotta hop between stuff. Yeah, this area. I remember this. That's a little cruel. I didn't actually mean to. Um, yeah, so I remember this. It was like a head of something. I was a little confused by it. So it's, I guess it kind of resembles like a Tory thing. Okay, so we're going to the tree. Yeah, we're going to this cave is cool. This leads right to the tree. So, my preferred way up. This is like a pedestal. What could be here though? Wait a second. Why, why is the balloon here? How do... <laughs> but 
But how? I mean, I guess the question is, how does he normally fly this thing around? Why is it there, though, you know? <laughs> yeah, I guess he became a bloopy, but... <laughs> Did he secretly give his balloon instructions to fly here? One may never know. That's... that's interesting. Wait, do I have to go to night? Because Kilton was like, night time, but... I doubt Kilton will be here, because... You know? Oops. I don't think that's going to make a difference. Oh, Kilton moved... Oh. So Kilton did it as a memento. Oh, that's why he's saying, like, I can use the balloon... Oh, that, okay, that makes sense. So the balloon isn't going to appear anywhere else now. It's just going to appear there. <laughs> I mean, hey, no one else is inhabiting here. Just... Might as well. It definitely changes the uh, serenity of the mountain. All right, Kilton said he would move it there. Sorry, I was more so just like flabbergasted seeing it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Serene, cherry blossom, Satori mountain. Kilton's balloon. <laughs> okay, my bad. I, my mind was in eight places. But, that's it for today. So, we got all the caves, which is a huge objective. Um, and on top of that, yeah, another well. So, there's only one more well left. Um, we got some bosses and Koroks and uh, got some parts for upgrades, like always. And, most importantly, it was really fun. So, thank you guys for being here. Um, the next stream will be next Wednesday. And, we'll figure out what we're doing. We might do some Hebrew stuff, because it's within the winter holiday season and snow stuff for for snowfalls is fitting but uh in the meantime i have some work to do on my challenge run that i'm trying to get up soon and uh yeah that's gonna take a lot of time still but usually worth it and in the meantime we'll be here every wednesday night so i think yeah be a good end of the year beginning of next year i'm gonna start recording uh the next Tears of the Kingdom challenge run, but I'll announce that when I do. Uh, usually a few days in advance. Um, probably early January, though. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. Um, I don't have anything else to say. I thought I did, and that's why I'm, like, stalling so my head is fine. But, nope, I said everything. Okay. There's usually, like, I end the stream, and there's, like, one thing I want to say, and I'm like, nice. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of, uh, well... I guess not rest of the year. I'll be streaming next week. But, um, Merry Christmas for those who celebrate. Okay, it's going to kill me. I have something to say, but I don't remember it. So, baby Floyd, goodbye, and bye.